oh wow what a bunch of people here <laughs> oh my holly were... and, Missy and river <laughs> mina zoe it's good to see all of you oh, wow. sorry i didn't realize you were here until just now Oh my. Uh oh. No, I've got don't, my forget, don't forget to turn off your um I did. My sound on YouTube? Yeah, mine was not. So oh, okay. it may have been me. All right. Well it's fine if it's you as long as it's not me, because then I don't have to fret. <laughs> well, and I have to apparently This isn't for some reason things are funny tonight. I've got two different things going on here. Well, that's weird. Hi Patricia. Hi Brit Brittany. Hi Terry. We're glad you're here. Right now we're just um waiting on Mary. So we haven't let's we're just sitting and trying to get started doing some stuff. Well, and I'm trying to get my whole thing set up here. It's something's for some unknown reason. It's not behaving like normal. Hi, Becky. Hi, Dawn. We're glad you're here. I'm trying to find some words that I can, you know, you don't want to, cut out a piece of this paper to put on there and then find out it's a word that's not going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that before. I just wasn't even looking at words. I just looked at text and and then the word was definitely not appropriate for what I was doing. And I don't remember what it was right now. I just remember thinking, okay, that's a dud. <laughs> Hi, Jerry. Jerry, how are you feeling? I can't see. Do you know that you are not in my list for some reason? Something is weird. Not in your list. Yeah. Um. I can't seem to get my um hangout to overlap my YouTube. Oh, you can't do that unless you're the one that's. Um, oh. You can only do it if, well. Um, I say that, but my husband did show me a way. Yeah, you just that. have to open your browser twice. But Lisa, you are actually not on my uh my YouTube in my YouTube list. Well, um, they've been unsubscribing me from people. Um, I know. I looked on somebody just the other day and I know I was subscribed to her, but when I went to look for, her, I wasn't subscribed and I had to resubscribe. Okay. So maybe they're doing that to you too. I've had, I know I've been having people unsubscribe from me. So I don't know. Okay. Well, let me see if I can do this a different way. Um. Sorry, y'all got technical difficulties. Yeah. I need to look, I guess, on Facebook again and see if if Mary's there. Um, yeah. Lisa, spell eclectic. I can't spell today. E C. Uh huh. E L E T I C. E C E C L E C T I C. Okay, <laughs> you are actually not even. There we go. Now you're showing up live. There we go. Maybe I'm not live and it's all a dream. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Gail. I'm glad you're here. You oh, Meredith says to, for me to mute her when when she comes. Yes, you have to turn you have to turn off your um her microphone 
Okay. Well, I'm, I'll try to be ready to do that. Okay, guys. I finally got it fixed. Okay. Jerry says she actually sat for a little and did some art today. That's good. Yay, Jerry. Yay. And I've got me sorted out now. It took a while, but hmm, I got an extra one. Okay. Hi, Sharon. We're glad you're here. Come on in, Mary. I'm ready to mute you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, guys, I have to tell you, I, I got found out. I talked to mom to today and um, she said, um, did you do something? <laughs> she said, my mailbox has had more mail than normal the last few days. <laughs> so sorry, they just started. <laughs> yeah, they started. They're, they're hitting. So she's just really tickled. Oh. Sorry, Mary. I'm trying. Okay. Got her muted. Okay. All right. Now, we're good. The other thing is, Lisa, the, to make sure that they don't pop, we don't pop back and forth when we're talking. Well, I've got I've got it on you right now. Are okay. You, are you seeing the boxes? Are you on YouTube or are you looking in Google? Um, I yeah, I see you, but just a minute. Okay. Yep. Yeah, now I can see me. Okay. Are the boxes down there? Yes, they are. Okay. Then we're good. <laughs> Hi, folks. We're glad you're here. Hi, Janet. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Sorry that we're having a little technical issue today, but we're getting it. We, we will have it figured out eventually. So, um, needless to say, I did not get my images anywhere close to being on. So, that's Thank where you. I'm at. I'm that's gathering. That's what you're supposed to be doing today. So. Sorry, I interrupted you. That's what you don't need to be sorry. I have, I was going to show you this little book. I have I have this book it's called the print master and it is um, it's got little tiny uh, copy art kind of things they're just tiny they're the idea behind this is a catalog and um, you know you can order the images Anyways, I'm going to use some images out of there. I pulled one whole page. That should be enough for the whole book. <laughs> yeah, I would think so. <laughs> so. Hi, Gloria. We're glad you're here. And then I wanted to use this blue because I thought it looked good with the copper. Oh, yeah. So it looks kind of like um, as if the copper had been, what is that? There's a word for that. It went away. Uh, patina patina, patinaed. Patinaed. Yeah, patinaed. So anyways, I'm just going to lay my images out and then figure out several of them. And then I'll get out the Mod Podge and... Well, that sounds good. I just got me a few things. Some of them I'm going to put some some kind of paper behind, but some of them are just going to go on like they are. Right now I'm going to work on inking my, my tags. I embossed my... Well, let me move it to me real quick. There's no use in showing if you can't see. <laughs> okay. Gloria says it was a reference to a Printmaster program eons ago. Yeah, like a clip art kind of program. It's clip art. That's the word I was looking yeah. for. Clip art. Thank you. I embossed my tags, and so that's what they look like. I embossed the bottom edges of these, and when I tried to ink up with this, it just made a big smudgy mess. Um, 
so I didn't want to do that on my tags. So I, I did these two tags. Tanya said, just swipe it on there. So that's what I'm doing for my tags. I think those turned out good. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to be swapping for, for a little bit. I'm just going to swap on one side of the tags. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to put images on both sides of the tags or just one side. What are you going to do, Tanya? I haven't decided about that either. What's Mary doing? Let's go see. Okay. Mary's cutting leather. She's cutting it looks leather. Like, I think that's what she's going to use for her binding thing. Oh, okay. She's going to take a piece of it inside and use it to bind her book i think that's right is that right mary yeah thumbs up means yes <laughs> mm -hmm. oh that's right she was cutting that belt yeah jerry says they're very pretty oh thank you jerry mary says hi everyone Um, and I know you guys can't see these, but the the little tiny images are all of birds. So Let me go back and you can show them. There well, we go. I don't know. I don't know if they'd be able to see it. It's they're so tiny. Well, you can sort um, of see it. <laughs> okay, I'll hold it up too. See, they're they're just little tiny itty bitty birds. Are you so gonna go ahead? Oh, are you going to put those on with other images? Yes. Or, yeah. Uh, I'm going to see there's already an image down there. Uh huh. I'm going to use a little piece of this blue paper. It's kind of blue. It's kind of turquoise. Um, a bigger image, a little um, bit of music paper, and then um, one of these tiny images. That'll be good. I love collage. Like so. Except that I just laid that bird in sideways, so I'm going to really have to pay attention to how they are laid in there. Yeah. So. And this um, this music came from a really old hymnal. I, um, well, it says it's the modern hymnal. <laughs> but uh, you know it's falling apart and i don't think if i remember right the uh copyright page is gone so there's no copyright date on it or either that or it's this piece in the back but i mean it's falling apart well i bet yeah. it is old <laughs> yeah it looks like it's pretty old Oh, I'm glad y'all can't see me. I just got ink on my fingers, then I wiped my nose. I itched it. And so I probably itched ink right onto my nose. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you, Janet. Um, yeah, Jeremy tags. Um, these are my tags. So the tag will go in here like so. And the other thing is, is that uh, Lisa had made some little tiny tags. So um, let's see. These tags don't have toppers on them because I made them a little different. They're black on the back and they're rounded all the way around. And they go in this part. That one looks like it's got a pyramid on it. Yes, because of the, um, the line of the uh -huh. yeah, for two. And then this one goes in there, and then a big tag goes in this end, like so. Tanya? Yes. Uh, Janet asked you to type something in the comment so that she can highlight you until you've typed in there. Evidently, she can't highlight you. And okay. I hadn't thought about that, but. Uh, that's okay. I'm gonna do the same thing. Well, sure, it's my channel. Surely it'll it would highlight me. 
I would I'm think obviously so. here. <laughs> Anyway, so that I have that. I have to, did those that way. And then I did a little quarter pocket and I've got some corner, some smaller tags to go in there. But actually, then where's the other one? Oh, it may be still over here. Yeah. Okay. These are going to be little books and they go, I've got a corner, quarter pocket there and there's a big tag in this one. There's little books on both sides of this one. And I'm going to put little black pages in there. How cute is that? Like so. But I didn't want to put the pages in until I finished with the images on there. Because, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to Mod Podge them. And I didn't want to get the inside pages all Mod Podgy. So, um They'll go in there like that, and there's a there's a little there's a little book on both sides of this one. Now I may put one of the tags. I've got tags in this one, and because of the thickness, I may put a tag in that, and then put another book over here, and a tag on the other side of it. And then yeah, of course good. these have big tags in the end of them too. That looks good. Uh, Jerry was asking, how many tube pages are you making? I'm doing 10. And I ended up with 11. And, you know, I'm not worried about the fact that I have one extra. That's, you know, that's okay for me to, to me to have one extra. Um, the one thing I have to think I've been trying to figure out is what I'm going to do, how I'm going to do decoration on these ones that have the the little spot you know that the pocket oh yeah you know so um excuse me just a minute uh, jeffrey will you go turn that down one degree thank you okay i'm here But I'm sorting images. I think I'm going to do all ladies on the fronts of my books. Mm -hmm. And then either birds or flowers on the tags. I've got both birds and flowers, so I may do some of each. But I'm trying to um, decide I better sort them first. I don't want to ink all of these and then only use a little bit of them. So oh. <laughs> I, just, I would ink them as I choose them. Well, and, and that's why I decided I, I need to go ahead and, and lay out several several layouts before I um, get out the, the slimy stuff, you know. Yeah. Okay, question above Jerry. Okay. I buried my, I lost my. my well, I, I answered the question about, that was Jerry's. Above Jerry was... Um, asking Tanya to put that in and she did. So I think we've answered that question. Okay. It takes it a while to get, you know, through. And so it sometimes doesn't, the question doesn't show up until you've already, <laughs> you're answering while they're typing, I guess okay. is what it amounts to. Okay. Well, as long as, long as um, we got it answered. The other thing is, is that I realized a lot of my images are kind of good size. So even though I have tons of tiny images, they're not always as small as I would like. Yeah. Which that's okay. I can cut them down. It's just that um, I'm going to have to cut them down as I go so that I'm sure I have what I need. I'm going to, I think, work on, I'm trying to let these tags dry because that archival ink takes a while to dry. Um, that's one of the reasons I like stays on. Yeah. I bought the archival before I knew anything about that. And, um, you know, once you, especially when you bought this huge old thing, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you kind of need to just stick with it. The newer ones I bought since then, I bought stays on, but, um but they're smaller and I just have those little square ones. Uh -huh. it stays on. I really like them. But. Um, 
I recently had to go buy a new stays on pad. I thought I had a a, a reinker and I can't find it anywhere. Uh oh. So that's all right. You know. You know what? If I brought them in, they could see a little better. Okay, Dawn asked, she had a copyright question. Okay, let me see if I can find it, Dawn. It was Dawn that asked a question. Oh, okay. Jerry. Okay, let me see. Dawn, you may have to type it again. I'm not finding it. There we go. Oops, wait. Do you see it, Mary or uh, Lisa? I don't no, see it. No, I don't. Okay. Oh, here she she rewrote it. Can I share dim digital images of the letters? You mean in that book, Mary or Dawn? Um, probably not out of that. <sighs> um, this is I'm sure too new. It has to be like 1920. 23 1923 or before and I'm sure this is you know not 1923 if that's what you're talking about is the letters in this if it's the letters in this no You can use them as they are because if you cut them, if you cut the book up, but you can't even, you should, copyright wise, you can't even copy them and use them. If you're physically using the book, it's different than if you're, um, if you've copied them in some way. Yeah, even if you own the book and you're just using it, copying it just to use for yourself, you're not supposed to do that. No. Okay. Are okay. you putting images on both sides of your pages? Um. Yes, I'm going to. Okay, well, that was my plan, too. I haven't... Oh, you know what else? That may be part of the problem. Maybe I've got this thing on top chat instead of live chat. Let me make sure that I've oh, get it. Oh, I do that. too. But even Holly is saying that her her mess her, that Dawn's didn't show up. Hi, Journey and Sherry. Book images. Guys, if we miss saying hello to anybody, I apologize. We were I was having a little trouble and, and we were missing Mary and you can show somebody besides me once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'll go I'll show, see we'll go see what Mary's doing. She's still <laughs> cutting leather. <laughs> still uh, cutting leather. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll show on me then while until she gets finished cutting leather. I'm working on my images. I've decided um, I'm going to use these 10 because they're all similar in the type of image they are. They're like photographs, whereas these are like painted or drawn. And so for the front of my book, I'm going to use these. And then inside the um, inside here, I'm going to use one of these. Then I'll use these painted or drawn ones on the back, I think. And then on 
these tags, I'm going to either use flowers or birds, maybe some on each one. Are you doing something on both sides of your tags or just the front of your tags? I haven't decided on my tags. I you know, either. I've got enough images to do both, but. Well, I'm sure if I didn't, I would, f I could find images enough yeah. just to do both, but. Anyway, I'm going to just ink edges of my images right now. I'm trying to decide if I should um, come in a little closer on some of these. Hi, so, out and by. Hello, Ruth, Ruth, Rose. Hi, Rose. Rose. Rose said hi, out and by. Oh, my goodness. So she must hi, not Beth. be feeling well. Hi, Beth. Um. But yeah, I, I haven't decided. I went ahead and put the black on both sides and I kind of wish I had not done that. Yeah. And um, so I don't know, but you know, it's not a book I'm going to write in. So I may go ahead and put images on both sides just because then it will be, you know, more fun. Yeah. Well, and having embossed my tags, it wouldn't be very much fun to try to write in it anyway. <laughs> well, that's probably true. But no, I hadn't planned it, except for the little book. I might write in there and I might put other images in there. Well, and that I put um, black paper in my little book because of the, I had trouble deciding what kind of images I even wanted to use. Yeah. Uh, Hi, Eva. Okay, she sent the question to Janet via Messenger. Okay. So maybe Janet will um, know the answer. I don't like that one. I'm tempted to. I spent the morning trying to find images. Oh, I spent the morning trying to find the handle to my drum carter. <laughs> oh my goodness, I was so frustrated. But um, I finally found it. But I tore up my room even worse than it already is trying to find it. And I, I even pulled out a big box of junk to throw away because I was so frustrated. <laughs> and a box to take to the thrift store. I was like, oh, got to get rid of some of this stuff. I wasn't feeling the love for very much of my stuff today. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing I didn't go through the whole room or I might, have not, I might not have anything left. Yeah, you know though, if it's the minute the minute you take it somewhere, you will uh, be going. Um, I need no. that. Yeah. Oh, this is the perfect project for Nana. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, let me look and see Mary's question. Okay. Okay. Let me look, Mary. I don't think you're blurry, but let me go to you so I can see better. Well, maybe a little bit, but not terribly. Um, I, I think it looks pretty good, Mary. Oh, yeah. It looks, I think it looks pretty good. I'm having fun with this. Um, this cutting up uh, cutting little words out of a page and and taking words out of context of the paragraph it's kind of interesting kind of like the found poem kind of thing yeah mm -hmm. that is fun to do i haven't since i'm just mostly doing on the fronts 
um, I may do some words on my tags, but on the, um, the fronts of my books, I'm mostly just doing my ladies. And so I'm not going to worry about words. Yeah. Okay. Lisa, Jerry asked something. Let me okay. See. I'm going to, Lisa, are you going to be able to glue down images on top of the embossing? Yeah, I think I will. Um, I'll have to, may have to use it. I won't use a glue stick to do it, but I, I think it it won't be a problem to glue it down. It's not so heavily embossed that it won't. And the paper is very thin that I'm using. Um, I think my bigger problem will be that the paper will want to conform to the embossing and I would really prefer it doesn't. So, <laughs> so I well, think I'll be okay with that. You could, um, you could, uh, what was I going to say? Duh. I don't know. I don't know. My brain must be squashy tonight. You could glue your images to a very, very thin layer of cardstock and then put it or another sheet of like book page or something. Yeah. And then put it down. Then it would not um it would not do that. That is true. I'm trying to find. Gloria is asking what we cut our tab tabs and hinges from, and um, I used cardstock. I, I do too. I just used some black cardstock. Mary is using some leather from a leather belt, um, but I just used black cardstock. And I used a craft paper colored cardstock. Thank you, Janet. Yeah, do make sure, guys, to give Lisa a thumbs up. Thank you. The other thing is I'm going to cover the whole tube with Mod Podge when I put my image down. And I don't know why I'm... Uh, echoing here tonight but i'm going to cover the whole thing because one of the things i liked about the the last book was the sound it made because it was all uh thick from the mod podge I'm using this sponge with my sepia and this sponge was used on red before and it's kind of redding up my stuff, which I, hmm, that wasn't what I wanted. <laughs> it's not terrible. It's just not what I was expecting. Okay. I think I like her just like that for that. Um, this is one of the pocket ones. So I wanted to, I had to make my image smaller to go on that one. So I kind of did a almost fussy tear. <laughs> <coughs> on this side. <coughs> You're welcome, Gloria. Just need a thicker, Laura says you just need to use a thicker glue. And that's what I was, I was planning to use that art glitter glue that I use for everything. <laughs> but I do have some gel medium if I, um, if I need to. I was using, um, matte medium for something. The other day and it made everything bleed. I do not know why, but it just made me so irritable. Everything turned gray. 
Oh, goodness. I was like irritable. Um, I don't know if I can. Let me see if I can go in and to my settings and zoom in. Yeah, Jerry, maybe when we get a chance, we'll go look and see how she's attaching it. We can ask her maybe and she can show us her idea. Mary, we want to know how you're attaching your leather. Okay. Is that better? Yes. Yeah. Yes, Lisa, it is. Okay, good. Is Mary, oh, she says E6000. Oh, okay. I went over there to her, but I don't know if she's actually working yet. Okay. Not open yet, so I'm assuming that she's not started yet. But still cutting. Oh, you can see them tucked in though. They look really cute. Oh, they do. Uh huh. Uh, Laura says Lisa that she used gel medium to fill in and keep the um. The paper from sinking in there and and ending up in the the dents. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, look at all those buttons. Mary's got lots of buttons. Oh my! Wonder did you tie? Did you put those on there, Mary? That's a lot of work to put those buttons on there. That, that must mean no, she didn't put them on there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's going to be cute. Look what she's doing with them. How is she going to, how are you going to put it together once you get the buttons on there? That's because I might want to use buttons to put mine together. If you've got something, some magic formula for <laughs> how to do that. Well, you could use, oh, you know what? You could use buttons between these and. Let that be your spacer. Oh, those are old salesman samples. That's cool. That's what those are. Those are old salesman samples unless they're, oh, she's going to use that cord. Custom tailoring. Yeah, Glory's store cards. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad Janet was able to help you, Jerry, because I sure wouldn't have known what to do. <laughs> yeah, because I don't, I don't go do mine on TV. Yeah, I don't either. It would be fun. To be able to see everything that big, that'd be kind of cool. But there's always something else going on on the TV. <laughs> I don't get to use it. Uh, well, Jeff's usually watching a movie because I don't let him have it turned on. So he can't hear anything unless he's watching a movie. Oh, yeah. Because you, you, you can't plug earphones into the TV, only into the computer. So... Mary, Joan wants to know if your buttons are spacers.
I think she's just going to use them. Okay, we want to see how you do that when you're ready. <laughs> we'll let you get to that place, but um, but I'm definitely interested in, yes, both. Okay. Spacers and decorations. Well, that's cool. Well, when you get ready, we want to come back and watch that. I'm going to go ahead and move it back to Tanya for right now. I'm just that, uh, she's I'm just, ready. <laughs> I'm just gluing down those few collages that I had ready. Yeah, I definitely want to see how the buttons works because I have a lot of buttons. I might I might want to do that. Well, you know, mom just gave me a bunch of new buttons too. Yeah. I still haven't committed to um to any kind of binding yet. So. <laughs> well, I didn't punch any holes yet. So, Hi Becky. Uh, Hi, Journey. So I'm I'm good. I can do what I want. You know, yes, Jerry, if she put earbuds in, we would sit here, her TV in the background. The earbuds would just help her, but it wouldn't help us. It's about her brother having his um, television on. Here's the one I did. Um, just as we were coming on, it's about to get dry enough to do the other side. But what I think I'm going to do with, uh, once I get them done, is I went the other day and got a proper 6B pencil. This is just a graphite, it's a solid graphite chunk wrapped in plastic. And I'm going to kind of grunge these up a little like so. So this is just basically a 6B pencil, really. It's just that it's a giant chunk of graphite. Does, doesn't have any wood. Oh, yeah. My daughter has some of those. She, yeah. she really enjoys them. Well, I also got, I got a little set. Um, there's 2B pencils. This is a 2B. This is, it's not, um... It's not a stabil. This is a uh, fiber castell, but it is an aqua aqua L. In other words, it's a graphite, water soluble graphite. So it's basically like the other one. And then it had a giant. This is what I actually wanted. Oh, uh huh. Giant chunk of graphite. It's not even wrapped. At least the other one is wrapped. Yeah. But for what I wanted to do, I I wanted that gigantic hunk, hunk of and but I like this one too so when but are we going to get to see what you do with that gigantic hunk well I have the video but um, I didn't get it edited yeah but so, soon maybe soon yeah soon in my art journal pages sounds good I'll be waiting and watching what Graphite pencil. Yes, Gloria, it's a good thing somebody knows what I'm talking about when I can't talk. Hmm. Oh, dear. Uh, Becky's been getting presents from the kitties. Oh, dear. That's always yeah. scary.
And Gloria says she's buffering. So, but I'm pretty uh -oh. sure I'm not. I'm I've got a nice green light. So, um, but that's my plan for what I plan on doing with these. So I'm gonna let that dry a little more before I flip it over. So I'll work on something else. Okay, let's see here. That's the little books. I did not get any door, any closure things on my doors. I thought I would do that after I got what images I want on it. Hmm. That's right. Hmm. hmm. <laughs> hard to make decisions once once i got past the the simple ones now i have to really figure stuff out yeah well, i didn't um take the time to make any decisions at all before we came on here except that i was going to ink the tags and i was going to use these images that i had already found and that's pretty much all the, <laughs> all the decisions i made before we got on here because i was just too busy worrying over my silly um drum carter well when you don't know where something is and and you need it that's just irritating it really is especially when you know that you put that thing somewhere safe mm -hmm. <laughs> i have to tell you what hannah said she, she said mom we need to get a big box and put it um put it in the in the dining room on top of the sideboard and write safe on it. And when you want to put something somewhere safe, you put it in there, then you'll be able to find it. Uh, well, the, pro the problem is, is that you forget where you put it, that it's safe. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'll tell you a story about things being put away. Um, it's been a long time. We were living in Nebraska. Um, Jeff was he'd been looking for his um, caulking gun for I don't know oh three days right so he's fussing and he's grumpy and he can't find his caulking gun and I'm like well where do you think you left it he's like I'm sure I put it in the the container that is, you know, that's supposed to be for the caulking gun. And I'm like, okay, so where's that container? Downstairs on the um, shelves. I'm like, okay, what's the container look like? And he told me. So I go downstairs and I look in this container. And what do you think is right there on the top of the container? The caulking gun. The caulking gun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he had been looking for like three days. Couldn't find it. Oh, he was grumpy. And there it was, right there in front of him. Hi, Mina. <laughs> how he's crying because he lost his his bunny oh no <laughs> Marianne hello How he doesn't have his bunny, and um, Becky chased him off. Hi, Marianne. We're glad you're here. Are you putting 
sorry. Are you putting images on, Lisa? I am. You want me to switch it over to me? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not very good at remembering to switch around. <laughs> Bad girl. Bad girl. I get so busy playing, I just, I just keep playing. <laughs> I'm making a little collage inside one of my doors. Uh, Journey. Um, oh, okay. She said LOL. Okay. Um, yeah. Our, our kitty cat used to catch just whatever he could get on his. Uh, he could come home with. But he loved to bring me snakes. And they were always still alive. I didn't mind if he killed things, but they're bringing bring them to me and they're still alive. That does not make me happy. I think I'm just going to put this lady on the back. She's pretty enough. She doesn't need anything else around her. Oh, and that's pretty. That's pretty, Lisa. Thanks. Yes, Gloria, I do too. I don't like snakes. All right, one page done. <laughs> <laughs> one page done. Yeah. Oops, except I need a little piece of glue right under there. I've got this one done. And then I've got the collage stuff on the one, this one. And I'm not sure. I'm going to put birds or something on the tags that go in it. But right now, that's that's what I've got done. So let's go ahead and work. Oh, let's work on the book. I need to put somebody on the book. Ooh, that one will look good. She kind of matches. And I'm kind of enjoying the fussy tear. <laughs> that means that you're tearing and not cutting, huh? Yeah, it means I'm tearing close, but not exactly. Mm hmm. Because you can't tear exactly. <laughs> but I'm just not in the mood to do a whole lot of cutting. So I'll cut, I cut on the flowers, but on the girls, I'm just going to leave some room around them. And some of them I'm going to leave just like they are. And some of them I'll do a, kind of a fussy um a fussy tear and some music paper or a word here's a word remembrance kind of like that with her maybe it's a little too much all that painty inky work i don't want to get rid of all of it cover it completely up <laughs> yeah that's that's it mm -hmm. uh oh I've got such a little tiny spot to work. I can't tear my paper. That's pretty bad. <laughs> oh, no, it's the same table. It's just uh, one of those cutting mats that I got at the thrift store for $3. And I just stuck it on top. Um, so it is new, but it's not new. <laughs> same table, just to... Just a little cutting mat I stuck on top of it. But thank you. I like it too. Will the glue come off of it, Lisa? 
I don't know. I haven't gotten any glue on it. Okay. I would assume you could clean it up because it's plastic. I would think so. I can tell I'm going to need more music paper. I'm really liking putting this music paper on here. <laughs> so I'm going to have to go find some more in a minute. Okay, this was just what I had sitting right here. You have plenty, don't you? Oh, yeah. I got plenty. I just don't have it. This was all I had sitting right here from another project. Okay. <laughs> Leftover um, from another project. Did you get my envelope? I have not gotten it yet. Okay. Well, it's just a couple sheets of, of book page, it, but... I know they're no Norwegian because the books were printed in Oslo. Well, yeah, well, that's cool. I can't wait. <clears throat> Beverly's going to give up on me if I don't get started on that journal soon. I haven't been reading chat. Um, Mina says, Lisa, the lady in red looks really cool on that background. Thank you, Mina. And Becky actually got her her properties gone. Yay. And Jerry's closing on Thursday. And Gloria says she paid a small fortune for a mat cutting mat. Yeah, Gloria, they can be outrageous. Which, by the way, if you guys have a Tuesday morning, I noticed one of those great big giant ones in there. I mean, giant, the 48-inch one. Um rolled up one for $36 and that's a steal. I didn't buy one because I don't have any place I want to use one like that. But I got one like that rolled up at a garage sale and it had been rolled up so long I cannot get it flat. <laughs> In fact, I've got a bunch of stuff stacked on top of it right now trying to get it to, to weight it down flat. Lisa, when it gets warm, put it outside in the sun. Okay. Um, you got to be careful. Make sure whatever it's laying on is good and flat because if it gets if it gets real warm, it will. Um, well, I'll probably just put it on um, cement. The cement. Yeah. That's the flattest thing we've got out there, so. And uh, but in the sun, it, it should flatten it back out. All right, well, I will definitely give that a try. Let's go see what Mary's doing real quick. Mm -hmm. She's cutting something. Still, she's still cutting. Yeah, but it looks like she's cutting something on her tag. Maybe a window out or um, something on our tube. Gloria said she reverse rolled roll hers after it's been rolled up too long. Oh, that's a good idea. Mary says, yes, she's cutting out a window. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh, Mary, that, oh, that's going to be so cool. So and you know, we're tag, go, oh, let's do that too. <laughs> the tag will go in. And it'll show up. That is really fun. Hmm. Now I'm thinking I want to do that on one of these. Well, I've already put stuff on my solid ones. Well, I haven't. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But how did. How did you keep it from going through the other side, Mary? <laughs> I, I can stick a piece of cardboard in there. Surely I've... There's, she's showing off her pockets, guys. Use that packaging. Oh, I do not know what the next door neighbor's dog is having such a fuss about, but 
Well, luckily we can't hear it, so. No, that's good because he is loud. Okay. The the um, napkins that Mary used on that really made it come out cool. I think that might be too narrow of a window. I can always make it bigger. <laughs> Becky says how he's back. And um, Deborah said she put a window in one of hers that has acetate. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Well, I did a terrible job cutting this. <laughs> Oh, I did a terrible job cutting that. Okay, I don't want it. There we go. Even with the ruler, I can't do it straight. <laughs> Okay. Don't tell anybody. I don't want to get kicked okay, out of what is Mary doing there? Oh, she's still cutting out her window. Oh, now she's got a, a little tag she can use to do something else with. I like these little itty bitty pictures. They're so fun. Okay. There's my window crooked and everything. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the idea, Mary. Yeah, I need another little piece of paper. Well, I just oh. cut that crooked. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay, I cut it crooked. I'm not the only one cutting crooked. <laughs> That's terrible, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's just one of those things, you know. I cut it. I cut it really crooked. <laughs> it's like, dang. Okay, let me find a little something to put, a little birdie maybe to put on that tag. Mary says she's oh, uh, switch over to Mary. She's going to e six thousand the um ends now. Okay. We're on you, Mary. Could you use your cutaway as a tag to hang from the binding. You could. Mine's but kind of messy, but but I think you could. I'll bet you could make a shaker window, Becky.
Okay, I cut out one little sentence on on one side that I was going to use, and I turned it over, and it says the tints in a box of watercolors. So I think I must change the sentence I was going to use. <laughs> Sometimes it comes to you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, it does. So she's going to tuck them inside, Lisa, it looks like, and use the E6000 to hold them in. To hold the binding pieces in? Yep. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. I'm wanting to see what she does with the buttons to make spacers. But she's got to get through this step first. <laughs> And Becky's going to see if she can make a shaker out of one of hers. Cool. Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Allie Kay. It is Lisa from Lisa My Eclectic Life, Mary from the Mary LTA, and Tanya from Tanya McGuire. Um, right now we're watching Mary, and we have to watch Mary silently for a little while because um, this is her brother's TV night. So uh, we just, she has to be, She's in timeout, is what we said last time. <laughs> and Mary, read chat. Gloria says, you could put it on the inside of the toilet paper roll and place, and then place the leather. Hi, Lynn J. I don't know that I... I've seen you before. Hi, Lynn. What do I use as the final coat on a collage page in a journal? Okay, I'll go get it after we watch. I'll go get mine and show her after we watch Mary for a while. All righty. Tanya, I'll fix you up. You can, There are lots of things you can use. Yeah, Some people so use daddy bands, and I've used that. Um, some people use a ceramic coat, and I've used that. And some people put, um, oh, what's it called? Uh, powder on them to get them not sticky. I'm not sure what Tanya's going to show you, but those are the three things I can think of right off the top of my head. <laughs> well, I got this from Dee Dee Willingham. Ah, yeah. And I just made a mess. Oh. The Delta Ceram code, is that what you're going to? No, she, oh, okay. she's, there was, I was watching her. This is, um, just Let pop over here just long enough to show this and then pop back. Um, oh, this, cool. This is, um, Min Wax Finishing Wax. You can get it from the hardware store. It's um, clear and it says natural, which is just waxy color. I put it on really, really thin and rub it off. Okay, go back to Mary because they don't need to see it forever. Um, and we want to see her glue those things. But Lynn, this is what I use when it's sticking. And I use Mod Podge to do my, my things. So um, it sticks a lot. I bet that works as good as the Daddy Vans and is a lot cheaper. Um, yeah, the one thing about this though, yeah, and I already had it before I learned about the Daddy Vans. The Daddy Vans, um, you can paint over the top of it easier. Oh, uh-huh. That's one of the advantages is that if you decide after the fact that you want to add more paint, it's easier. Okay. So that's what I understand, that since I don't have any, um, you know, that's, I haven't ever tried to paint over it, but maybe I should do that someday just to see if it 
works. Yeah. Um, but I have a the can, you know, lasts forever. So I, I'm not going to run out. Now, Susan Gerald uh, suggested that if you put glue into your Mod Podge. Now, Lisa, you just use straight glue, um, right? Glue and a little bit of water. I used the glue all. Um, yeah. Elmer's glue all. Elmer's glue all. Well, I've added a little bit of Elmer's glue all to my Mod Podge. And since I did that, it's not as sticky. Now, I won't tell you that it's not not sticky at all, but it's not near as sticky as it was when I'm doing something. Well, I know when I use Elmer's glue all and water, uh, it's just a little bit of water. Um, yeah. In fact, I got the idea of adding water to it from Mary. Um, it's not sticky at all, and it's kind of a matte finish. Yeah, and um, I add a little water to my Mod Podge, so... Okay. I think <clears throat> I'm going to do this other little collage thing inside here. I'm having fun. I'm having fun. I hope y'all are having fun. Well, I'm I'm not paying very good attention to the um chat this evening. That's guys, I'm sorry. I don't mean to ignore y'all. Yes, Dawn. Um Mary's using a belt. She cut a belt into pieces. And so it's leather, so that's why she's using the E6000 to um To glue them to glue the pieces into her uh, into her pockets or whatever you into her tubes whatever you want to call them who was it that had the idea of doing 12 months of or 12 months of little books. Mary, Mary, Mary wants to do 12 months of little books. So um, since we started out, April will be four, right? Yeah. We should be able to come up with some more. We're well on our way. Yeah. I'm glad she waited till now to mention that. Cause if she had said that in January, I'd have thought, I don't think we can do that. <laughs> yeah. We won't, we won't have that many ideas. Will we? Yeah, and now I'm thinking, well, maybe so. I think we could do it. I'm game. Oh, which, by the way, Jerry, um, I have not been over to Kyla's. I'm not sure they keep store hours, and I haven't had the time to just run over there. I know it's not very far, but... I would think, Lynn, that it'd probably just okay, come Jerry, here. will will you message me about it? Go ahead. Um, I'm sorry, Lisa. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Oh, that's okay. She was um, saying that she bought the daddy vans, but she bought the lavender scent, and she didn't know if that would work or if it would just make it smell good. And I would think that it would probably be fine, but um, I haven't ever. Yeah, I don't know. Had to use it, so. I would um, go Thank take you. it to the store and check and see if they have the same ingredient. Well, check on line and see if they have the same ingredients except for the lavender. And if they do, it's probably fine. Well, Becky says that it, she has the same thing. So, and that it works fine. Oh, good. There you go. Oh. Even faster. <laughs> 
that's why you ask on these live streams because there's always somebody who's done it. <laughs> These are fussy. <laughs> I wish I had um, covered the entire tube before I put these little pockets on. The entire tube with the Mod Podge before I put the pockets on. Because I can't get underneath the pocket. Okay. I moved it to you so we could see what it is you were fussing about. <laughs> yeah, these tiny little pieces, you know, they're they're just tiny. Um, when you go to try to put them on there, and and because I didn't do under the pocket, now I can't get under there with the Mod Podge. So. It may not have the same lovely little sound as my last book. I'm sorry. Maybe it'll make its own sound and it'll be good. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Can't see now on the laptop. Okay. Okay, Jerry said she'd message. Uh-oh, that was good. I put the whole piece into my, <laughs> I, I just put the whole thing right into the Mod Podge. I had it picked up with the, the paper and it just went it into my Podge. Gluey now. Pardon? It should be plenty gluey now. Yeah, that's right. Um, Mary, uh, Mary has a question about how she's going to bind it, but. I don't know that she's ready to do that yet, so I don't know that she she was going to tie it with that thread that she had, Jerry. I know that much. And something with buttons. <laughs> yeah, something with buttons. And Eva, thank you. Um, everybody, it's so funny. We do these things, and we're all doing the same thing. But oh, Mary's telling us something. Sorry. Okay. There it is. Hemp cord okay okay i'm sorry i interrupted you you can no that's all right um So are we are you gonna tell us what you were saying? I forgot. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> we're all doing the same thing, but but oh, but it all ends up being different. That's yeah, you know. I mean, we all have the same project, we're all basically doing the same thing, and they never come out looking the same. Which is just the most fun about the whole thing. Yeah, it is. And get to see everybody's own interpretation and mm -hmm. I did have to get out a smaller um Mod Podge brush though. The the other one was just too big. Mary's still glowing, so I'm glowing, gluing. She's glowing and gluing. I'm going to come over to you. Okay. You know, usually I use... I just do everything with that one giant Mod Podge brush, and these were just too small to do that with. Yeah. So. Well, it's good that you've got more than one brush then, isn't it? Yeah, well, yeah, I have one for paint and one for Mod Podge usually. I'm so lazy. 
Yeah. I don't, I don't usually switch them around very much. Oh, that's got stuck down. No, no, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. No, that's not going to work. Yeah, let's see what I can do. And that one's almost dry. Gail asks, is that a space kitty image on your left? A space kitty. That or this? I don't know. On your left. That's all I know. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, they were all on my left. So um, I was just reading the chat. Uh-huh. This one is a, a, actually the the back end of an old car. This one, I have no idea. It's kind of a strange, that looks like a shark and a walrus. The red one. Okay, the red one is, I'm guessing it's, let's see, it's an old Dodge. D-O-D-G. Yeah, it's an old Dodge. That's a, a tire cover on the back end of a Dodge car. It's a really cool picture. <laughs> yeah, it's. I'm hopefully going to use it on this next one I do. I was going to show you this, this um, big, big thing just acts like a pencil. It's, nope. That's not quite dry enough yet, though. What are the advantages of using that over a pencil? Um, it's just giant. It, um, it gives you a big, broad thing. Sure. And it's, yeah, and it's a 6B, so it's real soft. Okay. I really wanted um, an even, an 8, you know, but I couldn't find one. Um, frankly, this one, for for this particular thing, this one works better. But the big one, it's just about, you know, big, fat lines. Yeah. So, so see, that's one side. Now I'm going to turn it over and do the other side. And even though it's red, I'm going to use it because I think it's cool. Okay, I've done all my fun ones. Now I'm down to the regular ones. <laughs> I was going to say, you're down to the ones that are not easy to do, huh? They're That's just a, plain. A spare tire, spare tire cover. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I need. I, I'm sure a spare tire cover would make one of these look better. There you go. Uh-huh. <laughs> And I know you guys can't see these tiny little birds. I can barely see them, but I have my glasses on. I am, however, going to have to go to the eye doctor. I realized the other day my right eyeball is not seeing as well as it should. Uh-oh. Well, that's the one I had the problem with. A few months ago, I, I had a sty in it, and I thought it was just the sty, but uh, apparently it's got issues. And I know I have a cat cataract coming up, but, you know, not bad enough to do anything, but probably bad enough that I need to go change my glasses. Yeah. Tanya, card was... Um, thank you, Becky. Oh, I was going to tell you guys. Where did you find them? Oh, uh, Hobby Lobby, um, Gloria. They were in a kit. They were in a set together. They're Fiber Castells, um, Faber Castells, Faber Castells. Let's see. This is a big fat 2B. It's just a big fat 2B. This is a regular 2B. This is a water soluble 2B. Then this is a 6B, and it's just a graphite stick with the idea behind not having the, the um, wood around them, Lisa. It means that you can use the side of them. Right. Okay, and I've had them before, but the last, the only one I had was down to this, and I don't know where it went to. That's a 6B. This big chunk is a 6B, and then it had a dust-free eraser 
and that. It was all in the same little kit. Wow. What did that kit cost? Um, this might have been on clearance. Well, even better. Yeah. I think they're normally about $16. But, you know, when they do their pen, pencil kits over $9, you can get them for half price. Yeah. Um, and you can use a 40% off coupon anytime. <laughs> right. So um, if it wasn't on clearance, I may have done that. I don't remember, but I think it, they were on clearance. And if that's the case, you know, it was, you know, under 10 bucks for sure. Yeah. Um, but I had, what I wanted was this. And they they didn't have just that. So I, I went for the whole nine yards. And thank you, Becky. And what I was going to tell you all was that mom, mom figured it out. Um, oh, and I have to tell you what, part of the reason why is because my aunt sent her three cards. And then... The dogs sent her a card. <laughs> so, so she said my aunt, she didn't think my aunt had lost her mind. And then, whose did she say she got? Mary Ann's? I'm not sure. who. She got a couple more cards. Laura, Laura's card came. I think Mary Ann's card. Anyway, she got a couple others and she thought, uh, I bet you my daughter did this. That's what she told me this afternoon. I bet you you did this. Tell her you only turned 88 once. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm having to read. I can't just cut little little pieces because if I if I just cut little pieces then um, I could end up like you said Lisa with something I shouldn't um <laughs> yeah we don't want that to happen to you yeah yeah it would not be good I had to cut out whole new words and <laughs> put them over new, start over <laughs> yeah uh, well I'm gonna move it yeah, to me for ahead. a minute and yeah. Um, and then you'll want to show Mary if she's anywhere close to doing what she was doing before. Well, she's, I think she's still E6000. Okay. E6000. <laughs> <laughs> we could art, but we, don't, we, don't, we can't guarantee we could talk. Um. <laughs> okay. Well, this is the front of these two books. Oh, that's so pretty, Lisa. I didn't, because of the dog, I didn't add anything else to that one. But I haven't done the back yet. And then this is my one with the pockets. And this is the inside one of the doors. And here's my little book, the front and back of it. And here's my tag. And then I just put her on the back. I thought that was such a lovely picture. Oh, that's it didn't cool. need any embellishments. And then I did that one and I put her on the back. I just can't get over that hair. It's just. <laughs> uh -huh. So that's oh, where I'm at right now. Uh huh. Um, Gloria, yes, they're not as messy as charcoal sticks. However, the last one, the last big stick like that I had was wrapped. So it didn't get all over me. And this one's not wrapped. So. I'll put some paper around it or something eventually. That's a technical term, E6000. Yeah. Yes, and, yeah. And journey clearance is always awesome. We're we're very technical. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Did you know that it is 8:30 already? Oh my goodness. Um. Poor Jeffrey's got to go over to mom's tomorrow and um, uh, take everything out from the shed and do stuff like that, which is not going to be fun, I don't think. No, that doesn't sound like a lot of fun. Well, we have a, a day where they... 
well, they call it an amnesty day, but you can you can put out stuff that you can't normally put out to the street in the oh, garbage. Right. And um, my dad had stuff in the shed that's just there from a hundred years ago, you know. So Jeff's gonna go try to get it emptied out. That sounds like a good project. Yeah, it's just a big project. Yes. So, okay. He's got till Saturday, so. But they'll take, they'll, right now they'll take tires and paint and um, just everything. So that's a, and, and we can't sell the house with the shed full of stuff, so. <coughs> True. And I have put stuff out over the years, but not <coughs> enough of it. <coughs> okay, she's wondering if your images will be right side up. Oh, um, yes, uh, my book is going to be, um, I'll just show you with these that I've already done. And Arlene says, we can't be great at everything. She will leave the grammar to the non-crafters. That's right. That's right, dear. Um, Jerry, I'm going to be come, like this. She gets to come out of timeout at 9 o'clock, I think. Is that right, Mary? <coughs> Excuse me. Good grief. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's that's how I'm doing it. I went when I watched Lori Marie's and she had hers that way. And so I went and got all my images before I watched anybody else and thought I could do it another way. And um, so I decided since I like these images, I'm just going to go ahead and do it that way. Well, that works, doesn't it? Yep. It's going to. Well, now, there again, doing the same thing, but doing it different. Yeah. I got to figure out, though, how I'm going to put the... <coughs> I'm going to close this. I may end up having to um, put a clip on the end of it. We'll have to see. Oh, and you know what? This could hold a tag too, and I didn't think about having a tag for it. Yeah, I've got enough tags to, to put in mine. I haven't um, tried to see how it'll work, but but I made enough. I may have to I may have to make a couple more tags. I don't know that I have enough. Besides the fact that that does not want to stay behave. Come on, there you go. There you go. Um, Arlene, it's um only eight thirty where Mary is. Mary's in Nebraska and it's central time. She's the same time as Lisa and I. I know I'm in Florida, but we're we're actually in what we call Lower Alabama, so um, that ends up being Central Time. It's funny that, you know, that you think about the time change, but to think that, you know, we're in Florida and Texas and Nebraska and we're all in the same time zone. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, when I tell people that I'm, I'm Central 
but I'm in Florida. They always like what? Because you know most of Florida. There's only I think three counties that are on this time. The rest are all on Eastern. Yeah. So. But for that matter, Pensacola is more like Alabama in a lot of respects anyways. We have more of the Alabama's type weather and all of that stuff. All of that stuff. All that stuff. It was fun to say, huh? Okay. <laughs> yep. Central's a big part of the country. You know, it's really weird. Is South Dakota has two different time zones in it, too. Nebraska might as might also. I'm not sure. Western Nebraska might be on. I think that's mountain time out there, but I'm not going to guarantee. Well, I got way too much glue on this little thing. <laughs> way, way, way too much glue. Way too much glue, huh? Oh, I haven't even touched my tags as far as images goes. Um, <clears throat> there's I've no way I'm done, gonna, I've only done the one tag that goes in the window. <laughs> yeah, there's no way I'm going to get to binding this tonight. I can already tell you. I've only yeah. Uh, I'm I'm not accomplishing very quickly. That's for sure. Well, we can always do a flip through when we get finished. Yep, that's what we'll have to do. Um, guys, uh, just uh, information, Becky is going to play with us next month in April, and you need two boxes the same size since it's on me. I, I'm, I haven't decided if I'm going to use these or I'm going to get another one, but they need to be two boxes that are the same size. And Lisa did a, um, a video on the project idea so you'll want to check that out okay um lisa switch over to mary she's getting ready to glue down the spacers yay okay mary jerry are you talking to me? Oh, no, Jerry, it's not close enough to bother, and, and it doesn't bother me. Um, I, I'm so used to traveling all over the country without knowing what, um, you know, it, it, my tele, as long as my telephone changes like it's supposed to, we're good. I still get up when I get up and I go to bed when I go to bed. Are you sewing the buttons on, Mary, or are you putting them on with E6000 also? She says she's putting the buttons on the center back of the leather. With E6000. Okay. Well, Laura said, so, or if you get lazy like her, three boxes so you don't have to measure the spines. Yeah. <laughs> well, that would work. Laura's making a, a big scrapbook one. Well, yeah, that's, yeah, so... That might be a good thing. 
Well, that'll be interesting to see too. I can't mm -hmm. wait to see what she does with it. She's already got her boxes put together. <laughs> Dang. I know. She's going to be all ready. She'll be way ahead of us when it comes time. Yep. <laughs> Jerry wants to know, uh, Mary, what the point of the buttons is. I think she's using them as spacers so that her book won't um crocodile mouth yeah crocodile. that's a good word Seventeen more minutes, Mary, and then you can talk. Laura says hers is her book's only going to have um, nine pages. In each signature. Okay, Mary's saying something. She's showing us. It's in the middle. Okay, that's cool, Mary. No, is it not working? You read an old comment in the middle. Oh, so. Evidently, I messed up some information. I'm not sure what information. <laughs> Sorry, Mary. Um, Joyce, I haven't had them in forever either because um, those are one thing I try not to eat. My poor little teeth don't don't want, need to go to the dentist anymore. Yeah, I don't eat them very. I every once in a while, I, I eat some milk dud, but it's a very rare nowadays. But really? uh, they're so sticky, and I have so many caps and so much sugar. <laughs> The sugar, you know, I can eat all sugar I want, but you know, I don't. Um, the the anything that's really chewy like that. Last time I had something, it was a caramel my father-in-law had in his living room, you know, in his candy dish, and I messed up and ate it, and ended up having to go to the dentist as soon as I got back to South Dakota because I pulled a cap off. Oh. I try not to eat them. Yeah, I don't blame you. I have the worst teeth in the whole wide world, I swear. Ugh. 
have a safe trip tomorrow, Joan. Sounds like you're going to have fun. Where is she off to? She's off to Kentucky tomorrow for uh -huh. Sweet 16 March Madness, she said. Ooh. Becky wants to know if Jeff's family is from near Galway, Ireland. I don't know that he knows, Becky. Um, the let me see, Jeffrey. I'll go ask. Hold on, just a minute. I'll go see if he knows. All righty. Um, his mother, his mother's family's. Uh, one of the original settlers of here in Pensacola, though. That's cool. Yeah. Um, he, even in Brandon, have um, certificates of, of, what do you call it? Because, you know, Pensacola is one of the earliest uh, cities in the United States. Becky, he says, from he's not sure exactly how to pronounce it. For not for Nana County, it's a northern border county. Good night, Jerry. And hello, Cheryl. Joan, I didn't know you popped in. Hello. Hope you rest good, Jerry. Um, so apparently, um, Becky, he did know at least that much. But his mother is um, related to the Sierras, which um, the Sierras were one of the founding fathers of here in Pensacola. We're all getting to a little too quiet here. Yeah. We, we need Mary to be able to talk soon. Yeah, it, it, uh, nine more minutes. <laughs> well, that's if that's if his program didn't get preempted somehow. Oh. You know. Um, they do do that to, to um, things. Something that's Jeffrey true. wanted to watch the other night the basketball game had messed up. Okay. I've got the fronts on all of these done. Now I've got to turn them over and do the backs.
And Beck says, Hugh McGuire, 1745 to 1841, fifth great grandfather Marlo McGuire or McGuire. 1781 to 1864, son of Hugh McGuire, Lettuce McGuire, 1803 to 1891, daughter of Barth Bartholo. Okay, because she's spelling McGuire a couple of different ways, so. Yeah, those are her ancestors. Huh. I'll have to ask Jeff because his dad does have some of that information. I, I don't know that we have it here. Hi, I Hi, Hi, Cheryl. We're glad y'all came in. Mary's got all her buttons on. Um, yeah, um, Becky, partially because whoever was writing the roster was probably not a McGuire. And hello, Eddie Doll. I just realized I put the brush back before I finished. Back. Having troubles? No, oh, I just slapped um, Mod Podge all over. The brush had water in it, so, you know, the Mod Podge got more liquidy when I... Right. <laughs> I took some of it out, but it didn't take enough out. It's amazing how much difference that makes, isn't it? Yep. I hope y'all are not getting bored watching us cutting glue. <laughs> <laughs> well, the big thing is, is we're not being very talkative. That's, That's the big true. thing. We need Mary, I guess. It'll be good when she's here. Yeah. But I should have known this was going to take a long time and should have started on it. <laughs> because uh, all of these little collage pieces take a bit of time. Oops. That is true. I'm doing a lot less collagey stuff than you are, and mine's taking a long time too. <laughs> At least it feels like a long time. Well, I did a lot of collagey stuff on the last one, and, and this one just decided it needed it too for some reason. Yeah. Hi, Mom Munson. We're glad you're here. Yeah, it's a name I didn't recognize. Welcome. Um, we, we've been very bad this evening. We're not being very talkative, but. And, and we're not getting a lot done. <laughs> Mary's probably further along than the rest of us. Well. We can only do what we can do. <laughs> I'm actually getting it done faster than I expected I was going to after I realized um, how much I was really going to have to do. <laughs> well, if I had thought about the images ahead of time, it would have been... I just couldn't decide what I wanted to do. Yeah. The biggest part of my problem is I couldn't I couldn't make a decision on what. If I hadn't been able to make a decision on what, I probably would have gotten a lot more done faster. Well, then I would be the only one who was going slow, see, because I had what, and I still didn't get it much done. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So, 
you're keeping me from being alone behind. Alone, okay. Well, and here's the thing is that I didn't, um, I didn't actually get the thingies glued on until today. The tabs. Oh, uh huh. Well, the only thing I did between last time and this time was emboss those tags. Well, I had to do paint. I hadn't painted everything, and I hadn't um, got my, you know, I had painting left to do still. Yeah. So. Well, you got a lot done then. See, you should be proud. Well. Now that you think about it, you did quite a bit. <laughs> I just was, I was just behind the times there, though. I like this one better. Two minutes to American talk, unless yeah. things don't work out. <laughs> She said they're having lots of noise, so she she may maybe she won't be able to talk at nine. In other words, somebody's smacking somebody down. It's amazing to me. Sometimes these little collages come right together really fast, and I'm really happy with them right th away. And then the next one doesn't want to come together at all. Yeah. to shrink an image <laughs> you had to shrink it oh uh -huh. no, it was just a little bit too big i couldn't add any flowers or anything if i left it oh like that. mom munson is in the hospital oh no um well, we're glad that you have you have abilities to watch so you can take your mind off of i think that's the way i read it She said she's there. Oh, Mary says she thinks she can unmute herself. Oh, when it's quiet. Mm -hmm. Okay, that'll be good. Nope. Not yet, she says. Okay. Okay. Oh, can you hear me? Um, Mary, something's really weird with your sound. It sounds horrible. <laughs> can you hear me now? Hello? Um, Mary, your sound is, is reverberating and it's really bad. Um, did you turn off your sound on the on the on YouTube? On YouTube? YouTube until I get my sound turned off. No, it's still bad. Hold it. No, it's all off. Let me turn off my phone. How's it now? It's uh, something still wrong with it. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't sound like anything I've ever heard before. Yeah, it's, it's like um, um, it sounds like she's been smoking for the last hundred years. 
And she's vibrating at the same time. Yeah, uh, that's it's vibrating, Mary, really bad. And and um, whatever you're doing is not helping because it sounds exactly the same. Yeah. Well, let me see. I've got her muted still. Let me unmute her and see if that makes a difference. Okay, maybe. Yeah. Well. Yeah, uh, Lisa. Lisa, no, she's she muted, muted herself because I can't unmute her. Lisa, I myself. Okay. Well, I I unmuted you so. <laughs> You maybe I need to mute you again. The girls say it sounds like she's talking through a fan, which it does. Yeah, that's as good a explanation as I can think of to what it sounds like. Like when you were a kid and you used to do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, stand right in front of the fan and talk. Uh huh. Uh huh. Or in, lean up against the washer mach washing machine and talk. Oh no, that's a good one. I don't think I've ever done that one. <laughs> it would be really good with my new washing machine because boy, does that sucker wiggle. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Mary, oh, that's, that's much better. better. Is that much better? Yeah. I went out and came back in. Uh -huh. Now my volume is off on my phone. Hold a minute. Let me check. Sounds and vibration. Volume is turned way down. Everything's off on my phone. So I want to come back in so I can read comments. So hopefully, hopefully by me going out and coming back in, it will be okay. Oops, is that you? That's jelly time. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Oh, I don't Hold know. I gotta find you. That was Rosemary. Hold a minute. <coughs> I went to Rosemary's live. <laughs> Where are you? I have to search for you. Hold on, Lisa. Tanya couldn't you find are. me earlier. Maybe they're trying to kick me off YouTube. <laughs> no, yeah. I just have to find you. Well, she there she you was go. gone from my list. She, she all right. Now I can see chat. Now, am I okay with my volume okay? You're a little loud, Mary. Oh, that's because I'm talking loud. Okay. Hold it. Let me change. Hold it. Let me turn down my volume on my. Now, now you're fine. As long as you don't, you, that you're good. Okay. How is it now? Can you, is it all right now? Mm-hmm. It's bet much better. Okay. I have a hard time hearing you when I do that, um, but Okay. <laughs> Uh, let me tell you where I'm at. I, you saw me cut all the, this belt. I cut each, cut each one of these segments in half. And I don't have a scallop scissors, so I'm just kind of rounding them. No, they're not. What? Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you, Mary. Okay, I, I have to turn this volume up a little because I can't hear you. <laughs> so well, tur Turning your volume, your volume up, Mary, is only what you hear. It's about what your microphone is reading. So just don't talk as loud and put your volume yeah. where you want it. <laughs> okay. Okay, hold on a minute now. All right, how's this? That's much better. Okay, so what I've done is I cut these belts uh, segments in half, and they are they were scalloped, but then when I cut them in half, they're straight. So mm -hmm. I kind of have made these all uneven, but I think by the time that I bind them, <coughs> that the binding will take care of that on the edging and everything. So, and I did use buttons, and you were right when you said these were at, were uh, 
cards. What do you call them? I call them button cards, but you called them uh, salesman garment? samples. Salesman samples. Salesman samples. Yeah, this one's got a terrible hole in the center of it. Looks like somebody wanted a button. <laughs> but I couldn't resist. This one, I think, only cost me a dollar. And look at that big old button there. Oops, can you see it? i got to put it on me so I can see what's going on here. There. I could not resist this one. It's really flat, and it's huge. And this one, I think this one cost me $4, but it's sold on there a, a, a lot nicer. Uh-huh. So... What I've done is, all, I, all I've done so far is, uh, you saw me cut the segments and glue them in there with E6000. I might have to shorten up my tags a little. Maybe not. I think they might fit in. I'm debating whether or not to put the ends on here. I might do something else on the end. I'm not sure because, well... You know, to slide this in and out, I don't know if it'll, you know, I'm I'm afraid, you know, how that'll get caught mm -hmm. on there. So I might put something else on here or do something else on this side for the tags. But that's about all I got done tonight. I had a lot of fun doing it, though. And I think I'm going to have to let this E6000 dry. But the other thing, what I'm going to do... Um, I got to trim this one up a little. I'm not sure I like that one. But what I'm going to do, what I think I'm going to, one of two things. I'm either going to put some holes around the top edges of these, like what's going on here. I don't know if you can see. See those holes in there? And I'm thinking like I could do a blanket stitch. Or what I'll do is put a hole on each side and bind them like this, you know, just a, like a one a one loop pamphlet stitch. Just go in and out and in and out. Mm -hmm. You're, you're following what I'm saying? But I want to do something along the edges here, too. So I'm still figuring that part out. <laughs> but for the most part, I think I'm done tonight because I have to let everything kind of dry good. Are you going to do images, Mary? Yes, I am. I have those bicycle. I have bi old bicycle images. And on here, I see the peacock. I put the peacocks on the backs of all of these. And I also have these little, let me get them out. They're right here. These little, um, these are from the Romantic Home Magazine. These are kind of like little uh, old jewelry. That's jewelry. Mm -hmm. uh, bonjour, little. Th these come out of an advertisement in the Romantic Home magazine. Here's some. Here's some button dolls of a, of all things. Looks like a little button doll snowman. And uh, here's some little dolls. So these are kind of cute. So I might put those on there. I like that. Here's some old jewelry here. And the other thing that I thought I would do, like you're looking at the backs now. I don't have anything on the front except for um, except for just the collage part. I was thinking about gluing some buttons on the front too. Maybe from this older button card, you know, get some of the larger buttons on there. I need 12, so I certainly have. Well, I have five there, and probably not that, but six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, I've got enough to put the larger buttons, and I might put like some black, black ribbon or black something or other. I'm going to bind it with this hemp cord. This is kind of like a dark, dark hemp. So I might, I might. Um, put the button on well I have to let me use one well I don't have a loose button here put the button on and just kind of let the the thread hang down so I, I'm really kind of figuring that part out yet <laughs> so I'll be working on this like I did the bank book two or three two well until I, I like to get it done before you start with Becky 
you start with when do you and before you start that uh, topsy turvy book what when are you going to start that the 12th of april mm. no it's not the 12th is it lisa ninth sorry i was muted yeah the ninth the ninth, the ninth. 23rd okay well, that gives me enough time i'm not that far away on this it's not, it won't take long to put images down and i'll be putting images or words on my tags I don't think that I'm going to put the, I was originally going to put the leather on this side of the tag, but I don't like the, the idea of it catching on the back. Uh-huh. I agree with that, Mary. I think that's. Maybe a button on there. Maybe mm -hmm. one of those big buttons as a pull. That would yeah, be fun. Would be yes. Um, first off, I have to tell you, Mina thinks maybe you were captured by the Borg and that's what happened to your sound. Yeah. <laughs> And then, um, Janet, I had one of those maxi coats. Uh, it was leather. It was my favorite coat of all times. No, I can't say that. My red wool coat was my favorite, I think. But um, the, the I had a maxi coat that was leather for for all of high school, I think. My mother said I was I was not going to get um, any bigger, so I could have whatever coat I wanted. So. Okay, that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> <That's all. laughs> oh dear. So how are you guys doing? I've been working on mm -hmm. mine, so I I kind of I listen, but I haven't been watching. I kind of watched chat a little and tried to chat toward the end there when I was had a you know had these all set up here, but yeah, I'll well, have to go back and look and see what you guys are doing. The um my big problem is is that. These these little fussy um, these little fussy collages are taking forever. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, because you have perfectionistic tendencies. Well, Mary slops it down on there. That or I have over overzealous expectations. <laughs> oh, so. that's funny. Yeah, that that might that might be more of it, Mary. Is that I have overzealous expectations. Well, you do nice work, but uh, the you know it's the same pieces over and over again, so it's not a big issue as far as as the collages go. I know which what I'm looking for, but then it still makes a difference in how I look at them. I'll show you some of the ones that are done and glued down. Cheryl, I don't know who won WEE. -E. It's just a bunch of noise floating in the air as far, far as I know. Cheryl said, who won WEE? -E? I have no idea. I do sit down some t nights when there's nothing going on on Tuesday night and watch it with my brother. But, uh, you know, I get so disgusted at those pretty ladies hitting each other. <laughs> I think you guys are so pretty and you're so mean to each other. But yeah. um, I really like the blue, the the patina kind of color of these. And the, the big plain um, pockets were easy. But when I started doing these, these little slashed pockets, it got a little harder to do. Um, so, you know, they're, they're getting dry, but I haven't even started on the backs. So... I mean, I've got one or two I've done the back to, but for the most part, I'm still working on the fronts and I haven't gotten any tags done. So it's going to be, I don't think I'm finishing tonight. That's for sure. So. Did, you, did you hear me say that I think I'm going to put buttons on these tags as the pull? Yes, and I think that's a cute idea, Mary. Yeah, but I think that's what I'm going to do. Another thing I am not going to do, and, and you know, usually when I do a tag, I put um, fiber. Let me show you, like this. You know, this one's got fiber in in the little spot, right? Well, I'm not going to do that to these because I really don't think I want. I want it just to look. You know, I just want it to look like that. I don't think I want the, 
the tag to have fiber on it. Boy, that one goes all the way in, too. So, you mean fiber in the pulp, uh, in the, in the little pulp heart? heart? I don't even know if I'm going to put a hole on it. So I, I haven't, I don't think so yet. I think I'm going to just leave them plain. And the, the stitching that I'm going to put it together with, I don't know, maybe I'll put some beads on it or something. I haven't totally decided yet. <laughs> totally, totally. Like I said, I couldn't decide what images to use until halfway through the day today. So, um, I've got just enough. This one needs a. Thank you, Joan. Gerald, I think they're all fun. I almost hate to take these off of this card, but I'm going to have to. Okay, Janet, I missed it, but I missed the fish, fishnet stockings. But how about hot pants, knee-high boots, and fishnet stockings? Now, remember those? Some of them are dirty. And yes, Joyce, creativity can't be rushed. It's just one of those things. These buttons need to be cleaned up. They must have been sitting in some old dusty drawer. Mary, um, they, they probably are old enough to, yeah. Mm -hmm. That what? Yeah. That, that They just got dust on them just for the sake of having dust on them. Well, it, I got them for little of nothing. I don't see a date on there. Oh, yeah, I do. 1937. I think what I'm going to do is take them off and put the the this backside into my art journal, and then journal that I use this to mm -hmm. to create my bank book. But I'm kind of choosing the buttons. I have 12 cards. I made I made your two uh, tag cards. You know how you have your little flip, Tanya. Your little mm -hmm. your little tag in here. Yeah. And um, I made, go back to to Mary Lisa. All right. I'm sorry. Beetle boots and mini skirts. That's right, Joyce. <laughs> go go boots. Yes, Mina. Oh man, we're all back there, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> I I I made your little uh, flip tag flip. I made the long one and the short one, and I made Lisa's open door and I made a window. Here's Lisa's open door. I need to. I want to answer Jerry's question. I don't think so, Jerry, because um, time-wise, we will be getting ready to go into the third book. I think we're all just going to finish and do flips of our books. You know, we'll probably just do just finish off camera and do flips. And Jerry, I'm going to bind mine with um, that stitch I used on the last book. And Mary, how are you going to bind it? I know you're going to use cord, but how are you going to bind it? I think, uh, well, I was debating, and I think the best way is probably to use my crop dial and punch a hole on the left side and on the right side and just go in and out, in and out, and bind it that way. I'm not uh, sort of like a, a one-stitch pamphlet stitch is what I'm thinking. I, I'm still kind of working it out. I might have to do two, but see, I've got the button in the center. And I was thinking of just going across that way. Probably have to start at the bottom and work up. And just go zigzag. Start here on one. Come up. Go across. Come up. Go across. You know, and keep going until I get up to the top. And then do the opposite way going down. Mm -hmm. And I think... I think that'll be enough for it to 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 flip for for this, you know. Yeah. So I, I'm thinking that's right now how I'm going to do it. But what I was saying was I had uh, this is mine with the window, and then the little envelope style door style is what I did with Lisa, and then I did your 
little tag pockets mm -hmm. on. So I've got four special ones, and then all the others are just regular pull it, you know, just regular tags. So. Yeah, I somehow ended up with um, a few more special ones. I think I've got six or seven, six, six of mine are, are different. Six out of 11. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, Lisa, how are you going to bind yours? Um, <laughs> I'm still thinking on it too. I really am thinking I'm going to maybe use ribbon. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm and just bind it loosely so it's um so it doesn't crocodile you know mm -hmm. um and just um put ribbon in there that way it can have lots of space and mary do you see jerry she said maybe you could do it on your morning live in other words she'd like to watch you do it <laughs> in <Yeah>. other words <laughs> I probably will. I do a lot of my work on the morning live streams. <laughs> Seems to be when I get a lot of things done. But I don't know. I have to. I'm working on getting my April journal going too. You know what, Tanya? I was noticing some of these buttons are shank buttons. I would love to put one on a paper clip like you did. I don't know if they're. I might be able to do one of these on a paper clip. This one might go nice on a on a paper clip oh that'd be cute uh tanya sent me with that happy mail she sent me some gold paper clips and i think i still have one <laughs> not tanya lisa lisa sent me some gold paper clips last year cheryl's laughing and coughing herself off the sofa <laughs> cheryl and sent me the most wonderful happy mail i opened it this morning in my impromptu. Thank you again, Cheryl, for that happy mail. I love I don't this. No, but they're they're being silly in chat, and I don't know, but the Borg seem to be taking over. So um <laughs> <laughs> of course, you know, we've been talking about uh mini skirts and go-go boots, so the board I can just, know what to do with that. I never did the skirt business too much, but because I'm not a skirt girl, but I did have some awfully short shorts. I mean, I didn't awful. do the short skirts or the short shorts because I have a mother who <laughs> and a father who wouldn't allow that. Yeah, well, well I have to tell you, I wore many dresses in college. I had lost a lot of weight when I was in a freshman. And I wore the mini short dresses that were popular way in the in the late 60s, early 70s. And I cringe to think about it now. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, just because mine were shorts did not mean that they were proper. That's for sure. I had a couple of those mini dresses. Ew, this I'm going to kind of wipe this off. It's yuck. I want to put it in my journal. I'm going to be cleaning buttons now. <laughs> night, night, Jerry. Good night, Jerry. Take care of yourself, lady. Yuck. I, I did my cat very good because I'd already said good night to Jerry a couple once before. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, wondering. She, you she guys thought Jerry had questions going on. She must come back in. She did. She popped back in from bed. Okay. I was like, boy, I'm just I'm just really batting a thousand here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you goodbye to people who aren't leaving. And <laughs> well, I have certainly enjoyed this. This has been really fun. It's the most I've been quiet during a hangout, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I feel like I need to soak these in alcohol or something. Oh, uh, I wouldn't. Don't use alcohol on them, hon. 
how about hand sanitizer? That's what I have. No, 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 no. For one thing, if those buttons happen to be Bakelite, you'll have ruined them. I mean, oh, they're not Bakelite. It does. If they were uh, Bakelite, they'd be charging me more than a dollar. Uh, that, not necessarily. But, they might not know. <laughs> I would not use alcohol on them, Mary. Um, and definitely not hand sanitizer. Uh. <coughs> this soap, this soap and water. Soap and water. I'll have to wait till after chat then because I have to go get soap and water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I'll get some of that blue dawn. Yeah, I blue, dawn would, blue dawn would be really good. Mm -hmm. Are you guys going to be on for a while? Yeah, it's only nine thirty. I'm going to stay on. Is okay. Well, then let me go get some. Uh, I'll be quiet. I'm gonna go get some. Time. I'm gonna get this dishwash soap and and water. I still okay. got tags to work on, so yeah, okay. me too. So I might as well stay here. And okie dokie. Well, I'm gonna go out in the kitchen and get Blue Dawn and soap and water. Of course, I'm gonna have a late night tomorrow night too. Hello, dirty paintbrush. I, you may have you may have been here before, but I didn't know it. <laughs> so I'm glad you're here. We we've been very neglectful of chat this evening. Sorry, guys. Well, it's hard to work and see everything. So yeah, yeah. Thank you, Cheryl. It is Lisa. Like I said earlier, we can only do what we can do. <laughs> and I think everybody understands that. Oh, yeah. We've got nice folks out there, so. But we don't want to miss anybody. <laughs> That's it. And, you know, I think on the back of my little book, I may not put anything. I haven't decided. It's, it's. I'm going to cover it with Mod Podge and, and just think about it. Yeah. I might put something, but it just seems like that's a lot. There's a point, you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've definitely decided not to do anything on the back of my tags. <laughs> Well, I think that may happen for me too. That's my the point of of ain't happening for me. Okay, let's see. Um, Gloria, I'd have been in serious trouble if I hadn't been able to wear pants. I know that um, when I started kindergarten, they said I had to wear a dress. Um, the first day, I think my mom let me put my pants under my dress. Because I pretty much refused to go to school without my pants. So it's kind of like my ch my child who who didn't wear long pants until he was in the fourth grade. But then we did live down here, so even in Alabama, he didn't wear long pants. He went to school in shorts and a sweatshirt. And that was about the max. When we moved to Nebraska, I told him he was going to have to learn to wear long pants because it was going to be too cold to go without them. And he said that he wasn't sure he wanted to move to Nebraska. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't ready to make that sacrifice, huh? No. He was probably right, but you know. Trying to pick out images for my tags now and decide how much how much work I want to put put into them because I'm getting kind of tired. Well, I just made that one crooked. Cheryl, where in Nebraska do you have family? 
Cheryl saying she has family in Nebraska. So, um, Barbara says don't cover the background. So, do you think I should fussy cut these? Is that what you're saying, Barbara? Yeah, I think she's right. That's the images cover up too much of your background. Okay. I agree with her. Even if you don't fussy cut them real tight. Yeah. All righty, here I go. Nineteen seventy one. Oh heavens, I had worn pants to school long before that. I graduated from high school in seventy six, so um seventy one would have been uh would that have been junior high school or would have that been about sixth grade? And I definitely had been wearing pants long before then. I'm washing all my little buttons. <laughs> I can hear you giving them a bath. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. I don't know where you where you all went to school though, guys, because by 70 and 71. Oh yeah, we of course, you know. I'm from a suburb of Detroit, so pants were very few people didn't wore anything but pants. Hmm. The only place I didn't wear pants was to church. <laughs> yeah. That's, Back then, you, know. you didn't wear pants to church. Now, now it's, I mostly only wear pants. <laughs> yeah, you, you didn't wear pants to church. Mm -mm. That was a no, no. I remember oh. my mom talking about when, when she was uh, young, she didn't get to wear, I mean, she didn't even own a pair of pants. Um, because her dad wouldn't let her wear pants until the day she decided that she needed that he told her he wanted her to paint the paint the side of the house and um went and got her a pair of pants for that because <laughs> she had to climb a ladder he was like okay you can have pants <laughs> uh -huh. yeah um well you know i wasn't very old when I was doing the lawn and driving the tractor and stuff like that. So it, there was no way I was going to do any of that in dresses. Yeah. I mean, I mowed lawn. I probably was seven, maybe, when I had to start driving the tractor. And by lawn, we had 40 acres. So we didn't have 40 acres of lawn, but we had. Uh, a lot of field to mow. Let's put it that way. A lot of stuff that had to be cut. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, part of it, one of my uncles hay had hay in, and um, so he would take care of the hay. Um. Part of it was a little bit woods. Our property went from one road to the other, so it was a mile deep. Till we moved to Detroit. And then all we had was just a little chunk. And to have a garden, you put it in the flower bed. The neighbors thought we were crazy. <laughs> Oh, I had carrots in the front flower bed, and neighbor come over one day and said, "What in the world's growing in your flower bed?" I said, "Carrots." Okay. 
my mom has had um she lives on the corner lot so she has you know more yard and um so she has gardened. I got the garden was the bane of my existence when I was young because I had to always go out and pull weeds and I didn't want to. But as I got older, I was excited that she gardened because that meant fresh tomatoes and cucumbers and peppers and mm -hmm. uh, okra and all that stuff. And um, so the neighbors always are like happy that she gardens because she would let them come over and pick tomatoes she hasn't felt like gardening the last couple of years and it's kind of it's been kind of sad yeah i can see why it would be yeah becky um my dad my dad had three girls but you know i, I probably was his only boy <laughs> my nick my sister that's just younger than i am is a priss so She was, she was, she was his little girl. Okay. So those are kind of done. Yeah, Lisa, it shows off your background a lot better that way. Yeah, I'm, I, I like it. Um, this one kind of hides the image, though. I'm, I put it on there because it kind of looked like it matched the colors, but now I'm thinking I ought to switch it to another one. Where think that one it. It. But I'm, I'm definitely liking them. <laughs> Chicken address. Dirty Paintbrush says her week 12 tag from Spanky's Tags, I think, um, is... A focal point is a chick with a dress in a dress with hairy legs. And then, um, yeah, Gloria, it's hard when they have to give up something they care about. One, two, three, four, five. And six. Dirty Paintbrush is jealous of your fussy cutting, Lisa. And Barbara's off to dinner. Did I see Barb Clark in here? Hi, Barb. Yep. Oh, she went out to dinner. Well, yeah. <laughs> yes, and Holly, thank you. Um, guys, if you haven't given Lisa a thumbs up, make sure you do, please. I gave you a thumbs up, Lisa. Thank you, Mary. Me. <laughs> Me too. Okay. Now then, let's see what we can do with the backs of these. Oh, okay. Ooh, oh. I may have to use a different flower. That one's got a lot of leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Either that or, or, or prune it. <laughs> yeah, do something different there. You could prune it, prune it, prune it. Uh -huh. Yep. Well, it wouldn't be very much of an image then. Yeah, that's true, probably. So I'll go to this one with the big sunflower in it and a couple of whatever these are, mums or something with the sunflower and I guess I could put that one on as a black one if I yeah. Let me move to somebody else, see what y'all are doing. Oh, I'm just back to making some more collages. Okay, Mary. I just, I just moved buttons. a bunch of them together. I'm washing buttons. I'm sorting seeing if I have enough to put on the ends of the tags. I might just make it. Some of them are going to be too small. Some of them are shank buttons. I can't use those. But uh, I have this great big huge flat button I was showing you. I think I'm going to put that on the very front. I really do like that button. Oh, that would be good. Yeah. That'll be fun, Mary. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't even thought about which one page is going to be the front and how to differentiate it from all the other pages. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I didn't they all look like they're inside pages. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> well, okay. see? Good thing you got Mary here. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I, I did not even think about that. I haven't got a clue. Uh-huh. I do know that I made an awful lot of um an awful lot of different, you know, pieces, pages. So I don't have great fronts because these pockets are not gonna make good fronts. Yeah. So 
Well, I may use one of my doors as a front. Oh, that would be cute. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go empty this water, so I'm not going to be at my desk for a few minutes. All righty. We'll be here when you get back. <laughs> Yucky water. When I start read, when I put it together too, all these these sayings is going to be interesting. This one's Hi, gonna, this one's going to say she was dreadfully dull. <laughs> <laughs> Becky, I would be glad to watch you work on your book tomorrow night. I don't know about anybody else, but mm -hmm. I would, I would love to see you do that. Yep, yep. It would be fun. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Have you been working on it tonight too, Becky? Make a stack the deck hinges. Hi, Nancy. Um, Nancy, the um that slip knot binding that I used on the Um, the little scrappy book that we did. Oh, girls, is that in January? Uh, yes. Okay, the scrappy book was in January. And the last part of it is on Jerry's channel. The binding is on that. Um, but... I've been going to, I've been thinking that maybe what I will do is actually do a, do a separate video for binding this when I go to bind it so that you can see it more carefully. Um, but it will lay flat. Let me get my other book. I'll be right back. I'm here, Lisa. All righty. I just got home. I just got back. Just got home. <laughs> I think I'm going to go ahead and figure out how to put these buttons on my tags. So I'll have the poles and then I'll just have to decorate the tags and bind it. Well, that sounds good. So I have, I might not put a tag in your window one. I might figure out something else in there. I know you put a tag in your window one, didn't you? I did. Let me get it and show you. I think it turned out really cute. Well, it's here somewhere. Here it is. Let me put it back on me. I'll move it back to Tanya when she gets. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, you made a window. Uh -huh. oh, oh, is that your, but the, that isn't your, is that your door one though? That's not no, your this door. Is, you said window. I'm oh, sorry. Did I said window. I'm sorry. I meant that's door. Okay. I did well, you, little collages in my door one. You did not. Did you put a tag in it, though? I've, I've got tags made to go in it. Okay. So you're going to put a tag in everything. I'm uh, debating. Yeah, everything except the one with the book. Okay. Well, you I'm going to do it your own way. It. You don't have to put a tag in there just because I am. Well, I don't know. I might just because you do. I might. <laughs> <laughs> Your, Boy, your tags are just beautiful. I love them. The clip. Oh, See, yeah. mine are all popsy turvy distressed leather. Yours are just, I really like that clipboard. Yeah, I, I went to two different, um, two different Tuesday mornings hunting that, Lisa, and they did not have it. Oh, I'm sorry. That I think is probably the fa my favorite die cut that I have. Yeah. Um. Can I you have a whole over bunch. here? I want to show. Um. It's back on you. Okay. Um. Nancy, I'm sorry it took so long to find it, but um. This is. It's called. It's very much like a Copic binding. It's called a slip knot binding, and it's linked in a couple of the hangout videos from when we did this scrappy book, which was in January, and. Um, see what happens is when you open it, it just lays 
now this book is thick so it's not gonna lay perfectly flat but it lays flat out like that um there's just see here it's just thick so by the time you get to the middle it lays perfectly flat but the pages are flat across it's just that there's it's thick enough that if that makes sense but that particular binding works real well on single pages um, things that are hard and 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 you're you're not you don't have a signature they're not folded is what I'm trying to say the board book binding <laughs> yes board book binding yes thank you thank you very much okay that's all I wanted to show her but that's it's called it's called a slip knot binding and um, the we finished the books on Jerry's channel so uh, I did this, I showed this on that, but I will probably try to do a video when I do this one just so that it's, you know, you to, to do a separate video was my plan. So. I think I'm going to put these buttons on with tacky glue. Okay. Um, and just one second. I want to answer a question. I'm sorry, Mary. Janet, the Copic binding is a little different than the slip knot binding. Um, it's just a touch different, not much, but it is a little bit different. And I think Becky just put in the link to that video for the binding that I was showing. Thank you, Becky. Oh, that's the link to the thank you. Or board binding. Okay, Mary. I'll be quiet now. No, that is just saying that I that I was thinking I was going to put these buttons on with tacky glue. That's all I was saying. Oh, okay. <laughs> the end. The end. Okay. We'll watch you glue them for a little bit. There you go. That sounds. Like oh, good. I I'm kind of figuring them out. Um, the buttons are weird sizes, so some are going to go way in and some aren't. So I, I'm not sure about this, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. Now, if I ruin it, I'll pull them all off and make new tags. <laughs> I'll be right back, guys, okay? All righty. My bottle's empty. I got oh. Let's see what happens. We had a beautiful day here in Nebraska. Did you have a beautiful day down there, Lisa? We did. We had a very nice day. The wind wasn't hardly blowing. It got up to about 65. It was sunshiny. It was nice. It was just gorgeous out. I had a hard time staying in. <laughs> well, I think these images are gluing down just fine on top of my um, embossing. It's not bothering them at all just with this glitter glue so it's really pretty i really like your tags they are very very elegant thank Lisa. you well i thought these pretty ladies needed pretty tags yeah you sure do i'm i'm debating about trying to find some kind of little sayings or something to go on them but i'm really tempted to just let them be pretty and not worry about it. Let them, let them, let them have their own show. Yeah. And if, if I do that, I could probably go ahead and if I can find what kind of, ribbon i want to use i could probably go ahead and bind it tonight because ooh, this is the i'm just gluing the rest of these tags on and i'm finished i think that's cool oh, i still got my images to do in the binding and i'm kind of feeling my way through this if what i'm planning may not work <laughs> yeah well, i hope it does well if it doesn't i'll just 
I'll find something that does, I guess. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of how you have to do it. I have faith in you, Mary. What? Everything you do turns out beautiful. I have faith in you. <laughs> well, you know, uh, I I do distress. <laughs> I do distress. And, you know, sometimes I think that's pretty in its way, own way. I do, too. But, I like it. Yeah, if I tried to do something very perfectionist, uh, perfectionistic, I would make more of a mess of it than <laughs> I'm just not, I, I'm not, I can't, I try so hard that I mess it up. Yeah, that was my problem with scrapbooking. I wanted to love scrapbooking, but it was so precise. And if I didn't get it precise, I didn't like it. And yeah. I gave up on it because of that. And um, this is much more my style, this mixed media stuff. I was, that's This is me. <laughs> this is my world. Yep, this is my world. That's yes, that's I saw it. <sighs> okay. Okay, Janet, I'm sorry. That's what I was just thinking. Song in my head. Okay, now I've got to see what you're talking about. Above. Oops, company Lisa. Did that die have a company name or number on it the topper one it's a Sizzix um one of the movers and shapers insert dies let me look for it and see if I have a number oh you know I went shopping today um I went shopping two days in a row. I went yesterday. No, I went. No, I didn't go two days in a row. But anyway, I went today and I went into this quilt shop that I very seldom go into. I wanted a felting needle and I couldn't find them at Walmart. And she had them, but she said, I'm going to have to take you upstairs. And we went upstairs and my mouth dropped open. There were spinning wheels and weaving looms and big, oh. huge open sp space oh, yeah. for oh my mouth dropped open i'm going wait a minute i never knew all this was here <laughs> uh hannah and i would love to open a place like that where no, you, you don't want to come to. in and take lessons and weave and spin and i yeah. promise you don't want to i know we don't really but we would really love to if we didn't have to do the work you know if we could just be there to help everybody <laughs> yeah, I mean, honest to goodness, retail is horrible. It's a, it's a well, horror. I hate. We it. don't have the, um, we don't have the client base or whatever you want to call it here to do that. We but, don't really um, have to do retail. Just have a gathering spot. Yeah, like in my. But you still got to pay, pay, pay the bills somehow. Well, yeah, that's true. You have to be rich. <laughs> okay, this is the Sizzix Alterations Movers and Shapers, and it's six five eight like that. five six zero. I like that. Six five eight five six zero. And it looks like this, and you put it inside one of the bigger um, dies. I don't know that you can use it by itself. You can't, but not without a whole lot of shimming. Okay, well, that's what that's I was thinking. I have one of those, a big, you know, thing, and so I put it, just put it inside that and used it just great. But, um, but anyway, that's that's what it is. Okay, I'm going to let these dry here and I'm going to see if I can find some ribbon and and we'll bind this baby. Oh my, she is just going to town. And here I am still gluing images. <laughs> I'm laughing at you, Tanya. She's going to make me jealous. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm loving these black buttons on here. I don't know how it's going to work, but I like the look of them. When Lisa comes back, we'll make you um, make her switch over so she can we can see it. So I'll switch over right it. now. 
I'm going to run in the house and uh, get me a big needle. I don't have a needle to. to okay. And, and Becky just put that die, I think, up the link to it. Cool. Thanks, Thank Becky. Becky. I have the best mods in the world. <laughs> they always beat me to the draw, my mods. I'll go get a link and I'm hunting and hunting and hunting. I come back and they've already got it up. <laughs> yeah. See my black buttons? Aren't these fun? Oh I, oh, I love them on the end of your tags. I do too. Yep. I really do like them here. Yep. I'm not sure how they're going to fit in there, but we'll find out. If they don't fit, I'll make new tags. <laughs> some are big, some are smaller. Well, they don't have to fit in because they'll they'll just stick out. Yeah. They'll peek out the end of your tube. Because mine don't go all the way in. I'm wondering though if they're going to add some well, no, they almost have to peek out, peek out because if they went in, they would add more bulk than the spacers could accommodate. Well, not, not only that, you couldn't get hold of them. Yeah. So, yeah, I think you're right. Well, I got half of them done. I love this big button. I just, I'm loving this big button. That's going to, that's the one that's going to go on the front. This great big one. Once I choose which tube I want for the front. Well, hello, Patricia. Hi, Patricia. Yep, Mary, Cheryl. that's cool. Go ahead, Tanya. I'm sorry. I said that's cool. That's that's all. <laughs> <laughs> then I yawned. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> that's all. Then I yawned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, I probably will not do a live tomorrow morning. I'm I'm kind of tired. I I was gone today and I had to go. I went to Menards. You know, our Menards is really weird. They changed it. They used to have that where you go in at the electrical side. They'd have the service desk and you could always check out your items there. But now they make you go in the electrical side and go out the other side. And the store's about a block wide. I keep telling them they need to check out at each door. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they're trying to look a little more like Lowe's or Home Depot. Well, they don't think about their customers. And I was trying to explain to one of the clerks today. Well, he actually approached me and said, can I help you? And I said, yeah. Put a checkout counter closer to the electrical door over there, the electric side. Well, that's our service desk. I'm going, but but I wanted the electric, and I come in the electric side. I didn't want to go in the lumber side to get the electric, and I have to walk clear back to check out, and then I have to walk clear back to get to my car. And by wow. that time, he was tired listening to me, and he, he asked somebody else if he could help them. And I'm going, well, obviously, you don't care. <laughs> That's what I said to him. <laughs> I, was really, I was really sassy to him. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, Mary, just be glad you have a Menards, because we do not. Well, I do like the store, but they're messing it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're messing it up. That store is a big, huge store. One of the coatings came off of this button. I'm going to put it in my journal. It's a broken button. That obviously was not a Bakelite button. I think it was plastic. Well, but not only that, some of those buttons are probably um, put together with laminate-type glue stuff. and the probably. The... the um, alcohol pull them apart yeah i didn't do alcohol i washed them in blue dawn yeah, but that blue one dawn. that one it just uh it, it it must have been broken before and probably just the water did it in oh kim you know the biggest thing is for me to remember that that's your name <laughs> okay i'll call you whatever <laughs> whatever <laughs> I need one more. How about and yes, this? Nina, some of the Bakelite can be pretty fragile. Some of it is pretty sturdy, but you still don't want to 
clean it with alcohol. Um, well, I tell you, I doubt that I own any Bakelite, but I'm loving some of these these shank buttons. They're not shanks with like the metal shanks what we're used to. The shanks are made right into the back of the button, you know. They, are they plastic? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Whatever that, the button's made out of. That's <laughs> not uncommon. It, but it's cool because mostly I see metal shanks today. Now, this one's got a metal shank on it. This one would go good on a paper clip, the one I'm looking at now. I, I've lost my... This one could go good. I want to put I want to put one on a paper clip like you did, Tanya. <laughs> that will be fun. Yeah, it will. And some of these are really kind of cool. I think I'm gonna make charms out of the others and just let them hang down on my journal. On my, I'm just I'm gonna use them all. I think I'm just gonna let them hang down. Oh, that would that'll be fun too. We'll see what happens here. I think I got enough. To continue this one's brown though uh, well that one's kind of brown i'm gonna have one odd brown button <laughs> on the poles because i unless i put that and all the rest of them are black yeah most so of them are black do something different with it put it on the corner or um of the tag yeah since it's going to be odd, brown since it's going to put be it odd, in the center I'm sorry, what did you say? Since it's an odd color, put it in an odd spot. Well, that's a good idea. I guess I'll do that. Because all the others are gonna going in the center. I'll put it on the top. The top. Top right. And there you go. Unless I can find another one. I don't think I have one in here. I think they're all... Uh, let me see what's in here. I might have one in this big book. I've got a. Yeah. <coughs> I've got a white button. Kind of like that. I could really go odd with it. Do a white and black button. That would be kind of fun. Mary's just talking to herself here. Well, that's all right. <laughs> I'm just ignoring you. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. That's probably best to tell you the truth. I'm just I, trying to decide how I'm going to bind this. So I'm going to switch over and let you. Um, let's look at it. Let you. I think. Uh, right now, I'm just putting the putting it straight through. I was wondering if I shouldn't put a knot after each page, maybe. But then I thought that might make it where it's harder to turn. It's off. I was going to say, just it's off. It was off camera, Lisa. I couldn't see what you were doing. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, where's my glue stick? Oh, there it is. And now the little boxes are covering it up, so I can't see it. <laughs> well, good grief. <laughs> can't win. There you go. Now I can see it. Oh, it's so cute. Um. <laughs> uh, um, steak. Uh, I, I seriously doubt that. Lisa, I'm liking it. Yeah, it's cute, Lisa. Are you tying it at the end there then? On the, on the, this, this is a Tim Holtz. This is Tim Holtz. These are just, I uh, just cut it with scissors and just, but the tags are, that top part is the Tim Holtz thing. Does that make sense? Is that the question you were asking? <laughs> okay. Okay. It really will flop around if I don't make it tight. Well, see, you're kind of doing what um, what I was saying with mine. You've got two holes in there. That's kind of what I was going to do. But I thread. I'm going to thread mine from the bottom up. I'm going to come in like the bottom hole and then go across to the top one, and then on the next tag, I'm going to zigzag through mine. Oh, that's an idea. And I think that will hold them tighter. 
Well, so my point is, I don't think I want them to be tight. Oh, well, then because I want to be able to open it easy. Oh, well, mine has enough uh, leeway on the side. Hold yours up again. See, yours, you're threading your screw. Put it side, uh, not that way, the front, uh, the other way, top. Yeah. No, you had it. Go to the top. Now, bend down. <laughs> what? <laughs> do no, don't do that. Show me the top of it, the top of the tag. Yeah, I want to see the side. I want no, I don't want to see the end of the tag. I want to see the front of it. There, the front. I want to see what you have for the end caps. There, like that. <laughs> yeah, I think your your end caps are smaller than mine. You might have more of a trouble opening. Mine, I think I have big enough end caps that I can open it up and still do the zigzag, and it'll leave enough uh, give that it won't pull them too tight. I'm thinking. What are you thinking, Tanya? You said don't do it like this, so I'm wondering what. No, no, no. I'm, I, I, I'm, that Mary was like, no, that, that like this, not like that. I was just thinking. <laughs> I think what I oh, wanted to okay. say. But see, with that, if you just tied it, yeah, loosely then and left your tails for a while until you get it all finished then you would know how tight or not tight you would want it yeah that's a good point well um all i have to do is stick my tags in there and it's finished so okay well here's another option you could make some um uh you could run your let me think what I'm trying to say. They make these little metal spacers or like rivets, not rivets. Yeah. No, not a rivet. Grommets? Eyelet. Eyelet? Eyelet. Eyelet. I, I think you'd want a bigger one like a grommet than an eyelet's going to be pretty small for those. Well, my holes are pretty small. But but, yeah, yeah, but, the whole point but is you don't you don't want them to go into the hole. If you put the eyelets between each one, and they don't go in the the eyelet doesn't go in the hole, then it's going to be like a spacer. If that makes sense. Oh, okay. No, You're using your eyelets as spacers. The the eyelets like on the ribbon. Oh, or? Gloria, Gloria's got it. Washers. Oh. Washers. Okay. I have little copper washers somewhere. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to use washers on Lisa's assemblage thing because I'm going to do my garage assemblage in my journal. I can't get really thick, like nails and stuff like that. Yeah. Right. Washers would be good. Washers and. Okay, I don't here know, maybe some wire. Finished. I like that. That is so cool. But if I just tie it like this, then it's very, very floppy. Is that how you want it? I don't know. Oh, well. <laughs> Going to have to make a decision. <laughs> well, you not Mary. Really. She can make it like, this. This like it floppy. She can change it later. That's true. You just take the ribbons out and do something else. There you go. You just, you know, find something different. But Lisa, I think I'm like you. I'm I'm only gonna put stuff on one side of my tags. Yeah, I think, I think there's a lot of stuff. I, uh oh, I just breathed too hard and blew stuff everywhere. Uh oh. Well, I got all my buttons glued down. I I just think I need dry time now. Uh, well, I'm I'm tempted to just take this out and put rings in it and see what I think about that. Because it'd be easy to put this back in, yeah. What kind of rings? Just those. Um, I don't know the Book ones rings? that open and shut. Book yeah. Rings? Huh? Oh, Book rings? okay. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Because that would at least keep it from doing this. Yes, Gloria, I've got a box of, of copper washers. I've also got um, 
back when I, we lived in South Dakota, I hunted copper washers for jewelry stuff. And so I have, uh, what are they called? They are called, um, they were gasoline. Mm, they were for gas lines anyways in tractors. So I've got a bunch of those. I'll have to hunt them up and figure out where I where I have them. I'm sure they're in my um, my jewelry stuff. And that would be cool with the blue patina and all the other stuff in this stuff. But yeah, Lisa, the rings might be fun too. You know what I need on this book? What? Gold. <laughs> and we're surprised by <laughs> this. Because after my tags, I'll put a splash of gold, just a swipe of gold on the back of each tag. Yeah, we're not surprised by this, Mary. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> oh, dear me. It needs gold. Yeah, yeah. I am I am totally not surprised by that. Well, somewhere in all this mess, I have some um some of those rings that are like old um brassy but darker um kind of coppery brown. Bronze. Antique bronze. Antique bronze. Mhm. Mm but I'm not sure where. Oh, I'm going to like this. This is coming together for me. Yes, ma'am. I got to figure out. I don't know if I want to put my images on. I might do something else with my images. Maybe just plain black and white images. I thought about that, but I had gone with this copper stuff, so I didn't think I wanted to do that. What are you doing for images, Tanya? Um, they're just all kinds of odds and ends I have that are tiny out of magazines. Okay. And then I have a little bird, and then I have um, music paper, and... Um, a saying and this blue, uh, turquoisey blue um, paper that I'm putting a piece of it on each page. Brass. Gl Gloria says brass. Hello, Very Mark. Cool. We're glad you're here. Hi, Mark. Book now you find any of those rings. <laughs> Tanya, I did make one of my tags the odd one out, and I put it at the top, and it was a little button, um, but it's not the brown one. I took a white button and glued a little black button in the center of it. Oh, that sounds cute, Mary. <coughs> I'm liking it. I'm loving it. <laughs> and it's on one corner, sort of? It's on what? It's on the top right corner. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of like me, the odd one out. <laughs> oh dear! I might well, have that, to. That's the way we need to be, Mary. Is the odd one out? Mm -hmm. The odd one out. I'm gonna have to trim some of my tags down. They aren't fitting in my in my uh, <clears throat> tubes. Tubes. No, that's not good. Yeah. Um, this hmm. is very frustrating. Most of them fit, but some of them aren't. Get in there. There we go. Yeah, Mark, um, she put a, a, a die cut on the end of the tags. <coughs> That's like that little clippy thing that's on a tag, a uh, um, <coughs> clipboard. This right here. Yeah. <sighs> Put them all in backwards. <laughs> <coughs> I 
I just found a drying spot. Now that's kind of cool. I have to remember that. You know, though, what I'm afraid of is my tags might fall out of the book. Maybe if you not. Cut, if you cut them too tight, if you cut them too narrow, yeah. You don't want them too tight, but you don't want them too narrow either. Maybe I'll take one of those fat ones and put it in a... One of my two books is um, from... Okay, uh, Cheryl is leaving. Good night, Cheryl. Good night, Cheryl. Thanks for coming. Sorry, Mary, didn't mean to interrupt. No, that's but okay. Becky's leaving too. Good mother. night, Becky. Good night, Becky. Good night, Becky. That's <laughs> your boy. Good night, Beck. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, maybe I could take that fat one and put it in one of these. Let's see. What do I have here? I have a fat one here. That fits. Well, for now, I'm back to ribbon, I think, because <laughs> I can't find. Oh, I'll put that one in upside down. You know, as soon as you quit looking for them, you'll find them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> or, or when you go buy a new one. If you oh, go buy yeah, a new one, you'll you definitely have. find it. Yeah, all you got to do is give up on them and buy some more. Uh-huh. Yep. Yes. There's what Mary's doing, and I'll switch over to Tanya in just a second. Yeah, um, I want to see Mary's off center to uh, off center button. I'm putting my tags in my book. Okay. In my tubes. I think I'm going to have to trim some. This is the off center one right here. I have to switch it to me so yeah, I can see. Yeah, it's cute. My, yeah, it's white. And all the others are black. I put a I put a medium button in the center of it. Mm -hmm. But all the others are black and they're different sizes. And I'm just in love. I'm just in love with this big button. I'm just in love with it. And so when I do the front of whatever, maybe I'll make my off-center one the white one and put that big button right in the center. And maybe I'll have uh, have some ties coming out or a bow tie there. Tie a bow tie. Um, I'll have to see what I have for silk ribbon. I would love to have a silk ribbon in there. Yep, I think that one's going to be the cover. But I'm going to have to trim some of these down in order for them to fit these tubes. These are too fat. <coughs> this one might fit. You can take it off of me now if you want. I'm done. Yeah, uh, that, that's just done. The part in the middle there, um, her hinges are the made out of the belt, Mark. Yeah. Thank you, Lisa. Uh-huh. Yeah, these are the belt ones. I decided I was going to put uh, belts on for the pull tags, but I didn't like it. I like these buttons on these cards better. So I got all these that I trimmed up. So what am I going to do with these scrappy things? <laughs> I see junk journal in my future. Junk well, journal. You know, we got to have some scrappy things. Well, see, Lisa, uh, Tanya, everybody needs to go get an old belt to cut up for your junk journal. But look, then I've got all of this stuff. I think I'm just going to collage it. These are all the little ends that I trimmed to make it look like a tag. Mm-hmm. I got all of this. I don't want to throw it away. Maybe a shaker. I don't know. I'll put it in an envelope for now. I have learned to throw a few things away, Mary. <laughs> I do. I do. I'll bet I throw out three bags of trash a week, and it's pure trash. I mean, oh, yeah. it. Yes, I'm. Mark wants to see your tags, and then he wants to see yours, Mary Dell. Okay. Um, I have. 
two kinds of tags because just one second, Mark. And I have the long ones that are like this and have that kind of an end and they're just round on the other end. Then I have hmm, I have some little tags that don't have the black on them because they go in a pocket like so because and they're black on the back but they don't have a little tabby thing because they're a little different um and oops throw it on the, and then i have some little short ones that go in another pocket like this so um, I have th several different kinds of tags. Plus then I have the little booklets <clears throat> like this one. It's going to have a, it's kind of a tag, but because it's going to tuck in, but it's got little pages that are going to go into it too. And I've decided I'm not doing anything to the back of it, except just cover it with Mod Podge. I'll, I'll cover the inside with Mod Podge too. So that's my tags. Okay, Mary, you ready to show your tags? Yep, my tags are are not decorated yet. They're just a black, white on black with the big buttons on them or small buttons or different size buttons. And they fit inside of the tubes like that. Whoops, I got, a, got these upside down. They go like that. They're, they're, I, I have, they're drying yet. I put them on with uh, tacky glue. So, but some of these I'm going to have to, some of these I'm going to have to, this doesn't have a tag in it. Some of these I'm going to have to uh, trim the tag down to fit the, that's pretty narrow or make another tag for it. But I don't have images on them yet. So, and then I think I'm going to come in with some smaller buttons. Like on this one's going to be my cover right here. And if I have some black silk ribbon, I want to thread it through here and make a bow and make that my cover. And then I think on these others, I'm just going on the outside. I'm just going to glue some. I'm just using these right now. The shank ones I might make charms out of, but just glue some like I did the spacer here, only on the front someplace. Because I need something more, I think, on the front. So maybe I'll put a button on the front like that. Like that. That's it. <laughs> I have to decorate my tags yet. And then on the back of my tag, I'm going to put a swish of gold. Just swish of gold. It needs a swish of gold. I agree. Yep, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm just going to do a quick little flip through of um, of my book because I'm finished. You're finished. Just, oh, she's finished. Lisa's our finisher. We are jealous to no end. I yeah. haven't done anything inside this little book, but it's, but otherwise it's finished. So here's the the front. Can you all see this? Am I in the right place? Um, yep. Move to your left just a little bit. There you go. Okay. Um, the, the doors open like that. There's the tag that goes in that one. There's a little collage inside. And I just, um, painted and stamped and embossed and inked <laughs> and added an image. That's all. <laughs> you, I really do like yours. I'm very, very elegant. <laughs> It sounds a lot, a lot like a lot more work than I thought. <laughs> and then on the back, I've got um, that pretty lady. Oh, cool. And then on the front, I've got this pretty lady with her flower, and the, then that tag. And I used five different embossing folders so that I the tags wouldn't all be the same. Two, every two of them, I used two of them with each one, but. And then this lady's on the back with her flower. And then here's the the window. And I didn't do anything in the back because I didn't know I was going to do a window until Mary showed it to us today. So, <laughs> Oh, I should there, have a little tag for my window. Thank you for reminding me. You're welcome. And then there's a tag for that. 
And there's this lady that's on the back. I love the old photos. Oh, I me too. Photos. Me too. I love them. Very and cool. then here's this lady in a flower. And here's the tag that goes with her. And then she has flowers all over in a fan. So I didn't do anything else with her. Love it. And then here's my little book. Made out of some music paper from a, a kid's um, music book. And I did kind of a collage thing there. And then I put her on the back. I need a book. And then I did kind of a collage with this lady because the background to her was really busy and I didn't want it that busy. So I fussy cut her out and put this stuff with it. And there's her tag. And then I did, um, gave her a flower too on the back. She looks like she's saying me. Yeah. <laughs> Are those for me? <laughs> for me? And then I just, I had another one of these. So I did another little um, collage inside. And there's. Uh, the come down a little. You're kind of up to oh. the right. Now over to your, yeah, in the center a little bit more. A little bit more. Is it your left? Left. Yeah. Her left. Yeah, there okay. you go. Sorry. Um, so there's that one. Well, tied my buttons a little too tight. And I put her on the back. Very cool. Loving those photos. And then um, this lady and some flowers on the front. And there's the tag. And this lady with her puppy on the back. Everybody in chat is liking it, Lisa. Everybody's saying, love, love, love them. Okay, thanks. Thanks for letting me know. And this is the pocket like Tanya had. And I just put a little bird on that one. And this is the tag that goes inside it. Cool. And then here's the other pocket. It goes with that one. And then her and that tag. And that's the end. Very cool. So I'm happy. And I have a bunch of images left over. So I may just go in and put them in, in here. In yeah. So. Well, I'm going to put a shank button on a paper clip. I'm going to make some charms and I got to decorate my tags and I want a book. And oh my goodness, I still got miles to go. <laughs> well, miles to go. If you'll give me a second to finish this one, I'll show you the images and stuff that I have got done. All right. I'm going to move it over to you. All right. I'm, I just want to finish this one so I can cover up my um, Mod Podge. That's fine. We'll watch you. You'll watch me? Okay. We'll watch you. you watch me I'll make watch, watch people about, collage. About the, about the time, you know, you start watching me, I'll probably make a boo-boo. <laughs> <laughs> like spill the Mod Podge or something. Uh, the pressure's on. The pressure's on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. I did go all the way out when on the on the tabs and everything to, when I put the Mod Podge on because I wanted that I wanted it to be as consistent across the surface of it as I could. Hmm. So. Um, oh, hi, Susan. We're glad you're here. Hi, Linda. We're glad you're here too. Thank you for um, for liking my book. Have you been lurking and you, you just now are popping in to talk? <laughs> okay. uh, Mark wants to know if any of you have tried the paper matte Mod Podge. He says it's amazing. I have I've it. used it before. I used it all up and and uh, for some reason I never bought it again. I just got the Elmer's glue stuff. Probably more price or availability, but I have used it. I I don't have anything against it. Um, I don't know. Mine doesn't say paper mat. It's just um, 
matte mod podge but it comes not in a green with a green label they make some just for paper huh okay no um i have not um that is one of the things that as far as i'm concerned it's still kind of shiny even with the glue in it so okay so you saw that one i'm gonna put it down so it's kind of i'm sure for me it was more of an availability thing because when i moved yeah. out here to nebraska i don't have anything <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So, I got it here, blue. Ooh, those are cool, Tanya. Those are a couple of them. I'm going to put them down because they're real wet. <sighs> These are all still wet, too. Um, now, this one is actually, I've got the back side of it done. So, oh, cool. There's one. And then. That backside's not done. This one actually, that's done. And that's a pocket which holds this kind of tag, like so. Very I don't want to leave it in there because I don't think the Mod Podge is really, really done cooking. You know, it's a little bit so, uh, wet still. Um, uh, this is another one of those flat tags and this one is done pretty much this is a little tiny tag and the little tiny tag will also go in one of these pockets I like the spot of red on that one you're holding now. Yeah. It um, just it, it just adds a, a a bit of color to your entire journal. Just that, that spot that of red. Tiny bit, and then, then this one is red too. Yeah, that I'm liking of, that. A little bit of red. And yep. this is the other side of that one. Um, this is another little book. So I've got two little books. This one and this one and they go they'll go in one of these the, the, they'll tuck into one of these pockets like that eventually Let's put some of this down uh i think i have a bunch still over here that are not they're not even touched yet um I have another one of my opening ones that's not been touched. This one is one of the oh, ones that has, has to close like that. And I haven't decided, but I'll probably put some kind of brad thing on there to close it. Um, you know that box of the metal findings that you got? Like yeah. that? Those little... Um, these little things that that you slide like you put in the back of a picture frame with a brad might work. Oh, uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then on all of mine, I am taking my, just my graphite stick. And I'm doing only a couple of the pieces, but... I'm going around the little tiny black and white image and the words, and I'm just grunging up it a little bit so that it kind of stands out. And that's not quite dry, dry, and that's therefore it's not letting me do it real well. Um, the drier it is, the better the graphite goes on. Um, yeah, there you go. And it doesn't really, it's not really dark, dark, but it, it makes it, it's, I don't know. I just like it. 
and and I'm not being careful. I'm doing it messy on purpose. <coughs> I love the colors, Tanya. Loving those colors. I, I really like how it came out. I mean, like I said, I was really not, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with the image, but images, but it, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with them. It's going to take a while to finish it though, because I, I haven't even started on most of these tags. So. Yeah, I'll be working on mine. I, I like to get mine done by, by the time we start, start the topsy turvy book. Well, yeah. Oh, and I wanted to tell you uh, that uh, Beth and I are talking about possibly doing um, a transparent book with like report covers. Oh, that would be fun. Yeah, I asked Beth if she wanted to hang out. We don't have a date or anything like that. It'll probably be a daytime one uh, off off of. Uh, it, it may. I don't know when. I'd like to do something for like the morning hours. Uh, but I don't know if Beth wants to do that uh, for our early morning folks. Linda might want to do it, but we'll see. But I just wanted to tell you that, that we're talking about doing a transparent book. That'll be fun. That yeah. will be fun. fun. Um, there are a lot of little books that we can do though. I mean, we won't have any trouble getting to 12 13 books i don't think so um what was i gonna say i was gonna say something oh the april hangout will be daytime okay at noon central time at yep. noon okay yeah well, um, we'll, we'll work at a, we won't go at the same time you do you know we'll work around you well no 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 that's not what i was saying we, yeah we were we Lisa and I were talking about it. We want to move them back and forth and move them around a little bit because that way those yeah. that can't come at night can. Yeah. And what I like about the early morning hours that our internet, even the noon time though, the international like over if you're if we're noon central, it's evening over in Europe. So if if we do like from. 10 a.m. to 12 up around there, we can, a lot of the international people can participate. 737, you know, they're in bed. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah. Um, you know. So, um, Beth says she'll set her alarm if she has to. Oh, hi, Beth. <laughs> Hazardly. Oh, okay. <coughs> so. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do that journaling by fives. When I did my very first journaling by fives, I was watching Beth today. I was thinking back how much I hated it because it was timed. But, you know, I didn't do a lot of fussy cutting then. So I've got all sorts of fussy cuts and, and words and all that all ready to go. It might be, you know, I was trying to cut words and find images and everything in that 15 minutes. Forget that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You didn't have that. I, I didn't weird. like it because I I didn't like I shouldn't have used a composition notebook. I did not even gluing the pages together. I didn't. I get why sh, you know the composition notebook is uh, not an expensive thing. You everybody can have one, but I just I really didn't like the weight of it. I didn't. I finished it, but I didn't go any further than that because I just really didn't like it when my I, very first journaling by fives i did on resin paper yeah see and and that would have given you some weight and i think it took me three months to get it done i finally got it done yeah. steak and fries you must it must be crack of dawn for you who are you talking to oh gail 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 yeah Gloria, you mean for um, for your journaling by fives? I don't know. Um, the thing of it is, is that I, I would have been a lot happier had I used something on the order of even a sketchbook. Well, isn't Beth? Beth, you're going to use. Isn't Beth going to use uh, loose sheets? Aren't you? 
I mean, because she was showing us what she was going to use today. Yeah, see, and, and that's another thing, Mary. It was all in one book, and you're trying to do all those pages, and then they're stuck together. That yeah. Just detested. Let me show you real quick what I did mine in. Yeah, I, I'll go get mine too, Lisa, and I'll show you what mine okay. is. Mine's in Wisconsin. I'd like to go get it. I'm not staying up to wait for you to get back. <laughs> I did mine in a notebook and I used like cereal boxes. And oh, I, I had all of my pages laid out on a big table and I just worked on them like that. Now that's cool. And so I would, I didn't have to flip any pages. I just no moved sticking them around together. as I worked. And I think for the one that Beth and I are going to do together, I'm going to work on the backs of these. Oh, cool. And I never did come back in and finish doodling or I did one session and stopped with yeah. this one. And when Beth and I do it, we're going to do it um, on April 2nd and on April 16th. And that way we're going to go through one session and then we'll come back and do it again to finish the pages. And I think that'll be a lot better than when I did this. I got through one session. I stopped. Well, when you say one session, do you mean you're going to do, what are you going to do the one first set of five. We're going to do one set of five and then come back and do them all over again. Oh, okay. but you don't need to do as much the second time. Yeah. Oh, I see. <clears throat> so that way you can, um, you can add more to it. Oh, so it's like Shannon, doing each prompt twice on the yes. same page. Yeah, and Shannon, she would have you when you got through, you could do it again and then do it again if you wanted to, or you could just have free time after you've done the five and just yeah. work on them any way you wanted. Yeah. And that's what I had planned to do, but I never did come back and do it. Yeah. <laughs> so they still look just like they did when I got finished. Well, I like that, Lisa. It's very nice. Thank you, Barbara. Well, I'm going to do the journaling by fives, but I like how you did it loose leaf. Okay, Lisa, you have to show me your book again real quick. I'm sorry. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> I just did I it in the, the room. I'm sorry. I did it in a notebook, and I did it on cereal boxes, uh -huh. and I just laid them all out on a table and worked on them. I didn't have to flip pages. I just yeah. did them. So like they were that. separate sheets. And yeah. See, Let yeah. me move to you so you can show. Right. And and that's the thing, Lisa, is if they were one at a time, it would be fabulous. I just, I hated this being in this book. Yeah. I was trying. Well, I, I would, so I just didn't do it. <laughs> yeah, I, I was trying to follow Shannon's. Oh, let me back out a little bit so you can see the whole thing. Oh, let me answer this question real quick. Okay. Lauren wants to know what size they are. And they're not all the same. See, some of them are skinnier. Some of them are wider. It's just whatever boxes I had. But basically, my pages were um, six by about nine, I think. Six by eight and a half. So I just cut them that they would fit in this book. And I didn't worry about them making them all the same. See, this one, these two are really small compared to the others. That one's really small. Okay, you're uh, you're showing me and you're talking yeah, to them like they can I'm see. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, let's go again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see, I've got some that are, these are the biggest ones. And then I've got some that are smaller. And they're like an inch smaller. And then that back here are some that are even a little smaller than that, you know. So I didn't make them all one size. But I made I made the biggest ones that I knew would fit in the book. And then I just cut the other ones kind of however I wanted to. Or whatever would work out of the boxes that I had. Okay, I'm through. Let's go back and let Tanya show her what she didn't like. <laughs> yeah, I mean... And, and, you know, I would, like I said, I was trying to follow Shannon Green's exact kind of thing when I did it. And when did I do this? 
I didn't do this until 2017, July of 2017. Um, and, you know, see that look at what, you know, it, it just, it's warped. First off, you go through and you're supposed to glue all these pages together. Well, that means you're, they're all warped. Then, before you even get started, you're at a disadvantage. <laughs> before you even get started, you're at a disadvantage. And um, then you're supposed to put down that one layer, the, whatever layer you, dis, you do first, you know, just some scraping on some paint or whatever. Well, okay, so now granted, you can't just turn the page because it wasn't about the fact that I got something over here about the fact that the bloody thing was then stuck together and you can't put enough wax paper in here to to not keep things from sticking together so um it was let me pause for you for just a second and answer gloria's question okay she asked how many pages i did 20 because shannon green said 20 pages 15 minutes five prompts and that's how she did it that way you had less than a minute to to do each page for each prompt right and that's what i did i think that um beth and i are going to maybe do um like 15 pages 15 minutes so you have a full minute for each page we haven't made a complete decision on that but we're we're trying to show people you can do the same principle as what shannon did but relax it enough that it's fun right and you know to tell you the truth i think shannon would agree with that because i remember when i did mine somebody somebody uh pointed out that i wasn't following shannon's rules and shannon uh at that time that was a couple years ago when it very first came out and she said no she wants you to the point of it is to is to loosen up and yeah. uh and you know if you want to do something different like go to loose leaf pages and all that i don't think shannon would mind at all I don't think that she has hard and fast rules. She just did what she does. And, you know, I think a lot of people interpret that they have to do exactly something or other, you know, and it, I don't think you do. You do what works for you. But the whole point of doing the journaling by fives is to loosen up your art and to get started. Just well, to, go to do, for it. Go I fast. Think it's also about to doing the layering. Yeah, the layering too. You know, yeah. um, I, I do lots of layers too. I mean, sometimes I'll go back over the top of things with more paint. And and even though what looks like it's gonna be my top layer isn't my top layer in the end. And or just think of our pick tins. That's yeah. kind of layered. Yeah. Yeah, there's all kinds of layers to those. And see, I didn't even go back and finish this because by the time I got to these back here, I was just like, okay, I can't stand this anymore. But, um, <laughs> and, you know, I don't dislike what I did, but I really did not have fun with it because I hated this curling thing. Yeah. I hated that. I hated the paint. That's your perfectionistic tendency there. Well, but I hated <laughs> the paint stuck together and ripping apart. And because it would peel off something I had done. We just call that distress, Tanya. Yeah, I know. Um, but you know, when I when <laughs> I work in my art journals, I like to have separate sheets. And Gloria, if I were gonna do it, I'd probably, you know, if you if you don't do it on cardboard or something, maybe mixed media paper. Or um, thank you, Barbara. Um, you know, something, something that's got a time, at least a little bit of weight to it, because what, what you do in, in the composition book or what Shannon had done in that particular is glue. Oh, it must've been three or four pages together because you take a composition book that's got 200 pages and okay. If you glue Four to but that was kind of Tanya. That was kind of the thing back then, gluing those yeah. composition pages. And as far as the pages warping, a lot of people like that. Yeah, and, you know, and a lot of people, you know, they like the crunchiness of it. They like the, they like the how it fans out. You know, yeah, it just kind of like depends on your style. Book. You are you're you're a little bit more uh, clean with your style. 
Well, that, in my glue book, Mary, I have I have used single sheets and scrunched them, and that's fun to me. But I only work on one page at a time. Yeah, I like the idea of doing one page at a time, like Lisa did. I really yeah. do like that. And as far as if you're flipping through your pages, I'm loving them. Yeah, your pages I'm are really you know, I, I really like the pages. I just oh, absolutely. Like absolutely. I'm loving your pages. Yeah, I thank you, Gloria. I didn't I just didn't like the process. I liked the layering part. I liked the idea behind it. I just I wish I had done single sheets like Lisa did. Yeah. And um I will do it again. Um, although that's this is kind of how I work anyways. Well, are you going to work with Beth and Lisa then? Um, I don't know because I, I've got an awful lot going on. Um, because Lisa, when are you guys doing that? We're doing it April 2nd and 16th at <laughs> 7 o'clock Central Time in the evening. So is that a Tuesday? Yes. The Tuesdays in between the Tuesdays where we're <laughs> where we're doing the other one. Yeah. Um I, I might then because that should work. Uh, and then use some loose leaf paper and, yeah. and uh oh, yeah. and you know this mixed media paper, I could cut this and you could cut this in half and have some fabulous sheets to and it's got it's got some nice body to it. It's not cardstock, but it's got nice body to it. You know what else has nice body to it? It's Bristol board. Bristol oh, paper. Bristol board's really nice too. That Bristol would be fun to work on for um uh, for that. But I might use that. But I have nice. so I have tons of cardstock too. Yeah, cards. Well, the thing about cardstock when you get it wet, you know, you're gonna have that same. Cardstock is not really well, not multimedia in the sense that some of the yeah. other is. You yeah. know what and, I'm saying? And I wouldn't mind if they warped a little. It's it was the sticking together was really the yeah. that, and I didn't find gluing the original pages together fun. <laughs> Gloria, thought, it's going to be the second and the sixteenth. The second and the sixteenth. Yes. Well, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to bring it back over to, and show my pages. I just kind of, yeah. I didn't really show them, but you didn't um, want to show them. Why not? But I didn't. Um, I like I said, I didn't. I ever really finish mine because I I just tried to. The doodling part was really where I I couldn't get it done, and so oh. um, so mine are only a little bit doodled. I love the doodling part, <laughs> but I just didn't have time, and then I never went back and finished it. But I, I enjoyed make you know doing the pages, but it was it was very stressful for me because I was brand new at mixed media stuff, and um and I had never done anything like this before, you know, these kinds of pages, and then trying to do twenty of them in a hurry, in a hurry, yeah. Mm -hmm. But some of the pages like this one, I really love that. I think it, you know, some of them I really think turned out great. Some of them like this. I'm I'm not so happy with that, but but if when Beth and I do it, I can go back the second time and cover up those edges with paint. Yeah, because yeah. we're going to do it twice. But I did have that kind of the done. point of it too. That Shannon says go back. You're, you're free to go back and work on your pages after you're done. Yes, yes, she did say that. I just didn't yeah. know it. <laughs> I think what held me up was the time limit, but I think because I I didn't I didn't prep, I did not have words, I did not I wasn't doing fussy cutting, I didn't have a stash of fussy cuts or anything like that. Yeah, well so I that, have done that, but I did I had a pile I had like thirty things and I just grabbed what I thought would go on the page when I got to that point, you know. That's that's how I did it too. I just had a pile of magazine pages and. But I did have them fussy cut out, you know, as well. Like this one's not very much fussy cut, but that's, but it was already cut this way when I started because there's no way you can fussy cut stuff for 20 pages in 15 minutes. You just can't do no. it. Mm -mm. And Shannon said, you know, get all, get the stencils out you want to use, get the paints out you want to use, get the, get everything ready before you start your timer. Yeah. Or you won't be able to do it, you know. 
So um, how would I suggest prepping? Uh, I'll tell you how I did it. And it worked fine for me is I did one stage. Um, I did my 15 minutes. And then I moved that stuff out of the way and pulled out the next stuff before I did the next one. I didn't have everything. Um, I didn't have everything prepped at one time. I just prepped for each stage before I did it. And so, yeah, um, Beth here's Beth says. OK, well, I, I misunderstood what we were doing then, Beth. I'm sorry. But um, if you have, if you take, it also gives you a minute of a break to move stuff out and get different stuff in and, um, you know, and have your, your stuff ready. It gives you a little bit of a break in between the, the 15 minutes of rushing. And so that's the way I did it. You could have everything already there, exactly what you're going to use and just go through it as fast as you can. But, um, but I needed a break in between them to kind of calm back down. <laughs> well, you know, I think I'm more receptive to it today because I've been doing Aunt Beck's Dirty Dozens on 18 by 24 watercolor paper. <laughs> you know, talk about needing to get stuff done before the next prompt. And then I go back to working on my journal and her Dirty Dozens I'm, and I'm caught up with everybody. <laughs> Beth says she did a video today on how to prep yeah. and how to have everything in a box so you can just start and go straight through. Yeah, I watched oh. Beth today. So good I haven't had a chance to watch that video, yet. Beth. But I am needing to get off. <laughs> <laughs> you need well, to get I, to, uh, I, to I need to go to bed, too. <laughs> well, I'm not going to do a live tomorrow. I'm go I'm going to sleep in tomorrow, so no live streaming tomorrow morning. No impromptu. Okay. <laughs> All righty. Well, God bless you, and I thank you for coming. I hope you enjoyed making your little book. I sure enjoyed making mine. And we're going to have fun with a new book next month. So Yeah, lots of fun. Lots of fun. We'll see you on the night. And the 23rd to do our do si do book. do si do do si do Goodbye, Good night, everybody. Thanks. Bye, everybody. Bye.